set. Hey, what's up? Hey. What's going on? The old... Just pissed my pants with excitement. He just washed his bag for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> just had to uh, pee my pants with the excitement for our friends Champagne Charles. It's, it's Champagne Charles. Um, Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. It's nice to be here. Oh, it's fucking fantastic, Chuck. Are you kidding me? We've been, uh, we've been going ham. <laughs> um, it's the best. It is the best. Welcome. We've got Chris Lynch. Hello. On the, uh, on the, on the side. On the on the ra on the Sony speaker radio. He's pulling his on. <laughs> he's pulling his underwear to the side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you yeah, get a little. Just move. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's a little bit of a sexy move. He pulls it to the side. I always did that. Um, but yes, no. Welcome. It's the uh, the forty fiftieth episode of Scuffed Realtor wow. here. Um, shooting today. Shooting yeah. wild things today. Shooting yesterday. So, uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming back. Um, I mean, welcome. What the fuck? So, we're dead heat. We are close. Close to the end here. We're, uh, we're doing... We're rounding the corner. Home um, stretch is really incredible to see. It's fucking it feels crazy. like it's never going to get there. <laughs> it feels like it's so it. far away, but it's... it's <laughs> ten years to finish the rest of this. <laughs> I got to cut him with the old film splicing machine. But, uh, no, things are... Uh, Things are wild. Um, if you guys have any questions, please, God, all means fire away. I mean, we're here to uh, to get it done. We got we got username that just sent five hundred dollars. Oh yo! What? Yo! What are you doing, man? Oh my God, man! Not that more money I ever seen in my life. You put it down in front of me, later I do anything. Yo, I, I love you. I do anything for you. I'll crawl backwards. <laughs> you do a back to the crab walk like exercise? I do, yeah, I do backwards crab eating, drinking five gallon buckets of puke. <laughs> <laughs> Them checking to make sure I drank every Straining drop. Straining it out, just drinking the thin juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they're like, eat the fucking colander. <laughs> eat the colander. Mash it into an oatmeal, <laughs> dyeing it so it looks like oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> they make it look like strawberry and cream Quaker oatmeal. Uh, Damn. Fuck, man. Fucking, we got we got Rocky Stream with the uh, the salute, twenty five bucks. Yo, like thank it. you guys thank for you. for the for the uh, that uh, appreciate it, man. Um, we are uh, yeah, man. We're uh, we're having a fucking blast. What can I say? It's summertime in it's Rhode nice. Island. Living's easy. It's so nice. It's just nice. It's nice. It's, it's so great. It's a good place to be. It's great to be enjoying this. It's yeah, just, uh, it's a special thing. We got people. Uh, you know what they do here, Chuck. What we do, what we do here is we take a look at the beautiful pieces of real estate all across the, the U.S. of A. Yep. None in England ever. Okay. Lots in uh, North Southwest Australia, and um, lots in um, you know Finland and stuff like that. And Canada, a lot of Canadian real yeah. estate, and uh, and that's it. That's what we do. That you know, that's good. that's what you know. That's kind of like so. You need a gatekeeper you, in order to live properly. You really do. Yeah, I have to watch out for people's. Eyes. I, yeah. I I feel it's just a guardian of the ripoff. And what I'm the I don't know how we need guardians from realtors. But real, like, you know, realtor, realtor brains are smashed. Yeah, the people that sell things, they're, they're pretty twisted. I, I think you can, I think you could agree with me. Oh, I have twisted in the head, just like you said. Yeah, I know. They're, I used... machine, they're very machine-like, or in some ways, lobster-like. <laughs> we got a hazy hermit with twenty-five. Any of you guys listen to War Mode? Shout out Billy and Spud. War oh, Mode. War Mode. War Mode is uh, is that Matt McCusker's? Br br I. I think it's Brothers. affiliated with them, yeah. Yeah, they do a house stream. They're, uh, they're some builders that do a funny... I'm going to get it. We have, you know what? We, you guys should come out. If Matt, Matty's a, a solid, a sheet of solid gold, I can't imagine his brother's not. Get him. Imagine he gets here. Imagine he get you. We get here. He fucking we smoke crystal meth on the way. Here. <laughs> He's banging my wife. We got, uh, He's like, hey, man, where is she? I just I was talking to her earlier. Pick him up. Yeah, like, come on all up. We got Oliver uh, Cromwell with the 28 Canadian. Huge fan, guys. We are so back. Thank uh, you, man. Nice. Yo, thank you, man. Um, appreciate that. And we got Fun Guy with 20 bucks. No, me no message. 20 bills. Just here you go. Yo, um, I will Just shake. Among us. I will. Sh <laughs> we will shake. Uh, what are we, not Firefox. What are we open it yeah. <clears throat> you open it up, Edge. You open up the. Uh... Yeah, we will open up. Hey, guys, if you guys want to send houses, no different. Charles is here. Charles is looking for a house too. Yeah, I am. We're gonna be actively hunting. If you guys see anything you like, please send it in. The house in Glossaberry totally fucked me up. 
Thank you for sending that last week. House in Glastonbury, so fucking good. I want oh, to kill yeah? my so good. I want to kill myself. Well, Four seventy five. It's gore. It's it's gorgeous. You can meet the god of uh, realtors uh, ahead of time. Do that. <laughs> what the? It's got. He's got the fucking most ridiculous name. He's the Greek god of realtors. I don't know who. What's uh, what that would fall upon in regards to the pantheon? Who would Apollo. be a realtor? Realty like a land ownership? Yeah. Man, I have to think about that. I have to go back to college if I was going to remember that. <laughs> It's the first that you're just there to find that out. <laughs> we got Nathan uh, Switson with the 25 Australian. What is the best real estate strategy if there is a war and the government tries to draft me sometime in the next 10 years? Draft. Fall down in your house. Knock it down? Like kill those it? No, no, no. You just, you, you, you die, you dive down the stairs. Oh. Like, I just can't go. I fucking just work. You mean like get wrecked? Yeah, yeah. You just got to <laughs> you snowboard down your, your, uh, <laughs> just go Trusting snow. Demons and dirt through your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Brian Deegan and the uh, the boys, the metal militia through your house, and then you just say, "Oops." We got a uh, Rage Against the Angel Beads uh, gifted ten memberships. Jesus! Yes. Oh, yo, 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 by the way, hey, please like the stream. Yes, please. Hey, YouTube is sending Charles a message say, "Hey, make sure that you make your friend with the breasts like the stream. Your friend who has a large breasts." We got uh, push the like button. Duke of Duke of Hurl with twenty five. What is Chuck's favorite type of house? My house? My favorite type of house? You know, I like the sort of the colonial sort of style, but it's impossible to deal with, though. It's like it's impossible to remodel. Like you're, yeah, you're, very small room. You're better off dead. Like the room, the elevation, like the like the, everything is warm. Yeah, yeah. Everything. You're walking downhill in a hallway. Yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah. like a Willy Wonka house. But I like I like that. I like the wood. Um, but I hey, mm. if I could live in a if I could live in a bunker, if it were illegal to build a bunker. Then I would, but it's not because you're gonna build your house to code with uh, with all with all the well, with all the bullshit. The, the, yeah, the they'll timber. never they'll never let me build the house that I want to build. My house oh, no. I want to build is a bunker. You can you, you, you know a helicopter right up the street right there. Send a fireball down to your house. Doesn't matter how many guns you got. And your house is on fire. Then what do you do then? <laughs> I mean, what are you supposed to do? I say you gotta build your house out of concrete. Or you, you don't even have a, a house that with has lead, any security. With lead paint on the outside for oh EMF protection. Why they ban lead paint? I mm -hmm. wonder why. Oh, well, you see, it tastes so sweet. The children were going bonkers from it. Oh, really? Is that right? Or is it because of more like Superman? How you know with the lead and the kryptonite? You remember that? <laughs> I think it's more like uh, Jor El. Uh, more like that. <laughs> I don't think it's for your safety. We got uh, Terry Green Beans with the 20 bucks. Yo, Terry! Uh, 1999, 100% uh, taxes. Ooh, this is true. That's what everyone gets, but they just don't know it. They blame it on like, racism nine, 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 or something, nine. but it's actually taxes that cause all the problems in the world. But people think, I'm joking right now, so we'll let it. Uh, we got Mo 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 oh. with the 25. It is happening. It sure is. Oh, yeah, no, it's. Flaming it's going down, man. We're uh, we got good spirits. Things are going wild. Um, we're having a good time. I appreciate it. Um, good, just good vibes everywhere, Brody, Brotensky. Good vibes. We got Bobble Ball nice with the twenty. Uh, I prayed for times like this. Big, big fan, guys. Really appreciate you. That's yeah, man. Nice. That's hey, yeah, man. We appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Okay. It, is uh, it, it is quite it nuts really is. that we can't put lead paint on my house. I, what's that illegal? That's what, so funny. What for? What, your child's going to be munching on sweet tasting antifreeze? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Antifreeze chips? I said they don't taste that sweet. You try lead for yourself, it doesn't taste sweet. I said the reason why it's banned is because it blocks radiation. I said, what else would it be for? Your safety? So they, they do everything they can to reduce your lifespan every single day of your life. Like, oh, they got this to protect you? I said, you're crazy. I woke up in the middle of the night one time. I was like, oh my God, he, that's a lead paint. I was like, oh man. Did you eat? Remember, like, uh, and you always have SNL making the. Do you eat lead paint chips when you were a kid? Oh wait, oh that's right. You eat lead paint chips, and then you're like messed up, or you can't have lead paint, or you'll die. You die when you're 33. You die. Uh, wait, you eat lead paint? <laughs> you're marked for the. You're marked for death. I mean, I mean, I know lead's not good. I mean, I wouldn't be eating paint chips, but. I mean, who the heck's gonna be eating paint chips? No, I don't know. Maybe if you put it in a bag. I mean, you get yeah. kids in a room, there's paint chips falling around. Yeah, if, you're, if your kids eat paint chips, you're a bad parent. Yeah, you maybe you shouldn't have kids. It has nothing to do with lead. I mean, take a lead sinker to your head <laughs> before I take the lead out of my paint. We got uh, Internet God with 28 Canadian. Big ups, Chuck. Miss seeing you with the crew. Let's find Chuck his dream home, boys. <sighs> yeah, we gotta find something nice. I, you know, Chuck, I think you, you, you like, uh, you know, my friends always have, like, uh, good ideas, and they're like, I like, you know, I like, uh, 
older houses and I'm, I'm like from a old house th those houses will drive you fucking nuts yeah I they're know. all small rooms you can't remodel them they're like stuck what can you do you gotta yeah. knock the thing down to build a room you tear it down to this like it, co it costs so much fucking money to make them like the the, the, the new york modernists move out here and they there are some nice ones they do do a good job of them and connecticut's got a, a handful of them but a lot of new york uh psychos move to eastern connecticut and remodel these 1860s homes and uh, they spend all the money <laughs> on them. And they're, they're like, it's, it's worth a million. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, your neighbor's is 225. You're fucked. <laughs> no, no, no. Not when your neighbor's house is still for 225. You're still fucked. Well, I'll remember that. I, know. Mm. I remember you I remember you saying, or Eric saying that these homes, like, you. They're hell on earth. You, you can't do that. You can't do it unless you're good at doing it. Oh, pre 18, no. pre 18, like 70, you're fucking. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. That's not happening. I'd be a fool 19, to do it. 1920s 1930s is the fucking golden age of home building you look at the listings on some of those old houses they they don't they only show certain angles they don't they don't show a lot of the rooms yeah, yeah. because uh, what's it, a floating toilet room isn't even there i was like <laughs> what the hell what happened to the house so like, what, what's going on you, you, if the picture of a person was in the room they'd look like their head would be in the ceiling yeah. <laughs> you, you look like an imp from it's, doom it's too four foot ceilings yeah four foot ceilings you're 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 stuffed <laughs> in it so you're getting fireballs thrown at you when you try to see the house <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at it. I have like uh, your eyes go blood. You know, when, like your damage on oh, your yeah. face gets bloody. <laughs> Blowing up barrels of green. <laughs> I'll take yeah. these. I'll jump in. We'll jump into the first. Let's we'll, we'll take a look. Uh, we'll take a look at something sweet here. We got uh, Hermit the Pog with 20 British pounds. Much love to you guys. British pounds, eh? Send him back. <laughs> Oi, we don't want no damn pounds, eh? Send him back. Well, thank you, mate. Thank you. Convert them. Convert them. We got a uh, what's up eight nine one hundred with twenty five United States dollars. Uh, just wanted to say I love you guys and love the streams. Can't wait for World Peace season two. Well, oh, thank yo, thank you, man. Uh, appreciate it. We can't wait either. Uh, first house tonight thirteen fifteen Lock Lockmond Lock Lomond Lane in Richmond, Virginia. Sold for two point three million. God damn, two point three million in Virginia. Was that a bog? <laughs> What's that's, that that's where that? that's where George Washington crossed the Delaware. It's probably some some I'm supposed to believe some fucking fake Virginia. I feel like Virginia is just loaded with historians. Hmm. They're all like obsessed with a uh, DC DC lore. Good house though. We got Dan Roundenbush with the twenty. Great to see the men of mirth in the saddle again. Waited for years. Bad light. Oh yeah. No no. My Much. pony. I'll ride it. <laughs> Just straight genuine all the time. Oh, it's got two. <laughs> it's genuine. Oh, it's two houses. Two houses and a rhododendron. I owe you 2.3 million, I guess. Two houses for what? Yeah, they're comping it to the neighbor. So the neighbor's house is a fucking magnificent English Tudor manor on a fucking, probably on some fucking stupid river I'm supposed to give a shit about. And then there's train train tracks. That'll be fun. I'm sure the train never goes by. It's, it's probably, not loud. No, it's not loud. It's quiet. <laughs> it's just the meat wagon. <laughs> it's, it's, uh,. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the house is nice. It's untouched 1960s, so it's uh, this house was bought and held. Let's see, let's see what the, let's see what they uh, sold on, sold a couple days ago. It is a nice house. Don't get me wrong, it's a dope house. I'd love to see what uh, it traded for though. Let's see some trickery. Any alchemy that they're using? Oh the yeah, place? 2019 it sold for 400 thousand. Now they want 2.3 million what for it. What happened? Yeah. They find baseball cards they... in between the walls. <laughs> what? Are they chandeliers? What happened? Yeah, no, they, 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 it was baseball cards. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was Honus Wagner baseball yeah, cards. Yeah, Wagner. Yeah, it was all. Uh, I mean, a slate roof brick McMahon. Uh, What's it, his uh, name? Horace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his name's Horace. What's he from Egypt or something? <laughs> Egypt was in North America, so don't even give me any of that. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, fucking um, two point. That, that, I mean, it was probably a family sale for four hundred thousand. It's probably not. It never was worth four hundred thousand. It was. It was a family gift. But then somehow the oh. the family didn't want the money anymore. They were like, "Grandma's thanks a lot, Grandma, for the house. We're gonna roll it for two point three million. <laughs> Bye." They're gonna just they're blowing it up their nose right now in Italy. We got a chat from Horatio's Shield for twenty bucks. Charles, Nick, I have the option to own a bicycle shop in three years or less. Uh, then I can own it. Uh, I know the owners, and I have worked at a bicycle shop uh, in the past. Mm. Um, or should I should I do that or stick with plumbing that pays crappy? Love you. I'm first, 24. First, you have to watch Rad. The movie Rad. <laughs> first, watch that, and then what else? Uh, and something. No, uh, you, you know you could you could watch Rad. You could watch uh, Rebecca Lachlan. Laurie Lachlan was in Rad. Oh, that's uh, Full House. Full House, yeah, Rebecca. She's the one bouncing, bouncing around the guy in the wig, bouncing, doing the crazy mm -hmm. tricks, doing moves all, all across the whole gymnasium. Bikes, in my opinion, though, bike stores are sort of um, 
anchor point. They don't really move. Uh, and my, I, I was a big BMX kid growing up, big bike fan. Harrow Master. Right? Yeah, all, I was always Harrow Mastering, GT Pro Series. Um, but uh, no, man, I, go for it. Bike, bikes are kind of like just a form of exercise that I feel it's like universal. And I think longevity, uh, buying legacy businesses right now is super attractive. Uh, all in all seriousness, I think buying existing businesses for a fair price and not you know not some fucking crazy banker driven EBITDA or some you know some some bunch of fucking accountants come in and tell a bike owner their shops worth thirty eight million dollars and now they're just hunting for numbers they'll never get. But if you yeah, can take it over and it's a, a fair, it's a fair if it's fair to them then uh, go for it, man. And uh, yeah, stick with it. Why not? We got uh, Ryan Gerard with the twenty five. <laughs> Chuck is already on the frequency. LOL. Nothing but love for y'all. <laughs> God bless and Godspeed from San Diego. Ah oh, man, much love. Thank uh, you. From we got uh, o- OB. <laughs> we got a uh, Karis watch with twenty. Uh, handing me a big bag of risk here. So glad to see you and Nick and everybody getting together again. Hell yeah! A, awesome. A big bag of risk. A big bag of debt. Big Hopefully, bag of that's what we're trying to keep people out of. We're trying to keep people out of big bags of debt. We're gonna fly out to seven eighty nine Jerry Ave, Idaho Falls. Idaho Falls, uh, Idaho, Idaho Falls, Idaho, three ninety nine, Mid Century Ranch, kind of a nice piece. It's a good Chuck House. These, oh, this, okay, this is a, yeah, these sixties jams are the jam. This is nice. They did it well in the sixties. Yeah, they they like. I mean, they live really well. I mean, you remember that house up in South Bridge? You you, you yeah. slept there. It's just very lived, good still living there. It had it had round things in it that. Yeah. I'm not used to. It was nice. Weird layout. You, you know, you wake up. 60s, 60s house were made for the fucking Playboy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, well, I guess, once you wake up and drink a scotch, put your bathrobe on, piss your pants. They had the best the best houses in the Beatles movies. Like, <laughs> recessed beds in the floor. Like, oh, yeah. Crazy stuff. It was so nice. I guess. Yeah, the Beatles. <laughs> the, the, music, the, Beatles. the music was so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we got It Winters with the uh, 25. No comment. Just 25 bucks. Bro. Mm-hmm. We got Appreciate o- it, bro. O- Owen with the 25. Evening, fellas. Woke up today and realized the cat on my 03 Accord was stolen. Uh, that crackhead almost, almost definitely told it because the thing has 230k on it. Sounds like a monster now. Anyways, thanks for swinging by, Chuck. <laughs> All right. You got your cat stolen. Time to steal one back. Time to tr- jump on a creepy crawly in the uh, the employee parking lot of a. Uh, How do you rebuild that? You go steal one yourself, or you buy one stolen. Is there something from a fridge you can grab and put in your car? <laughs> like something with platinum on it. A beer. <laughs> you grab a beer from the fridge and put, put it in, it in your in car. The gas tank. <laughs> put it in your mouth. In the mouth of the car in the front. <laughs> Oh god damn it! Uh, th- th- I mean, r- real talk. This house is pretty dope. Uh, I would keep. I mean, this this downstairs living room is is fat. It's obviously going to need flooring. If you wanted to keep the green, I wouldn't be totally offended if you did that. Um, basement's in good shape, finished. It's not dirty. It's clean and well maintained. Is one a good thing. Um, mirrors on the floor. I would keep the remodel as it is. Idaho's typically been fucking Idaho's expensive in general. Pacific Northwest, Idaho, kind of r- remarkably more expensive than I would think based on what I saw when I was there. HVAC's been replaced in, uh, it looks like a train system. That's a pretty high-end system. Like Amtrak HVAC? Yeah, it's, it's, oh. am, yeah, it's a- <laughs> okay. They're on the Amtrak. Uh, nice piece, three ninety nine on the market. Uh, I'd go for this, my man. I, uh, this, is, this is kind of a, these, it will do well. It's 105 hours on Zillow. I mean, it's going to go. So uh, 2,500 square foot, four bedroom, two bath, mid-century for 399. Um, Idaho's got some uh, got some heat in the street. People like it. So uh, Montana, you can't even touch it. So Idaho has to be next. All right, I'm gonna bang through some of these. We got, yes. We got faux tool with 20. I dreamed of this reunion. Godspeed, MDE2, <laughs> North Korea, best Korea. All right. <laughs> uh, well, North Korea is fake, right? Yeah. No, it's not even there. It's a film set. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> People believe this stuff. It's crazy we got uh jsqrs with the 50 bills yo bro few few months Whoa. back you and jet gave me some advice on being at my job where i'm undervalued it really motivated motivated me to get out of the game industry and last week i started my new job in car advertising uh god bless you boys you're out here changing lives hey man mm. I, I appreciate that man uh godspeed on your new business buddy go out there and destroy it it's your it's your business. You don't have to answer to anybody. And uh, just go be a psycho out there in the streets. No one knows. No one will fucking know. You games before that. Really? Yeah, games. He gets how it goes into auto you, advertising. You're in the games industry right now? <laughs> Dude, you're better off leaving the country. <laughs> I mean, you're screwed. It's over. 
We got Afina oh. with the 50. Whoa! Hey. Shouts out. Yeah. Uh, look at these three beautiful boys. Our, <laughs> old, our old apartment in one socket had the kitchen floor covered in carpet, mold uh, in the ceiling, broken blinds, doors with no hinges. It was really nice. Not, <laughs> nothing. It was superior. That's, that's nothing. Did I you mean, send the link? <laughs> Did you send the link to the apartment or, or the other house? No, no. Find it! That's nothing. You move to San Fran, you have a stop sign through your windshield. You get needles through your toes. <laughs> you wake up with a stop sign in your back seat. We got Sugmo with the 50. Dad died helping mom run his small window replacement business. Window company we sup for treats. Uh, treats us like dirt and almost all of our work is through them. What's the move? Uh, go to their competitor. Uh, find someone to do it if they treat you like shit. Let's see. You, you have probably a contract to make windows where you're um, repairing for. Uh, eat his lunch. Find out who his competitors are and then go to them and tell them that story that the guy treats you like shit and you want to work with you and you'll do it just out of spite. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about this that I don't say this enough. Wait, if, you're, if you're going out there and you own a business, uh, relentless sales for two years is life-changing. Going out and being a fucking lunatic psychopath for like 24 months is a life-changing experience that everybody should go through. Hmm. It's like I'm a starving hound dog in Antarctica. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's all you need to know. You don't have to... Do starving hound dogs worry about getting to bed at 11 o'clock after being a psychopath for 12 hours? Not an Antarctic cun hound. <laughs> no. no. Uh, <laughs> never. Uh, no, man. I, I, but go, I, go, go eat his fucking lunch. Uh, take it personal and, and go, go um, sign another contract and, and honestly use the story. Uh, I, used to, I used to do that. I used to use bad customer stories as motivation for good customers. Hmm. Be like this. You want to hear a story? I work at Mercedes. You can imagine the people I deal with. That was a bit I used to do. You can imagine the people I deal with. And they go, oh, you must deal with some real assholes. Oh, yeah. And then I give them stories on things, and they don't do them. <laughs> you go to a window, his window competitor, you tell him what he's doing. He's like, he's treating me like, yeah, I do a great job. I do this and that, blah, 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 blah. Here's the story. Uh, something tells me you're walking out of there with some work. We got, let's forget. Um, we got Ombud with 25. I just bought land, 2.5 acres of woodland with a great view of the mountains in Montana. Nice. Looking forward to my slow descent into madness while building with <laughs> the knowledge madness. I've gained from the streams. Yo, man. Fucking Montana's beautiful. Enjoy yourself. Montana's nice? Ah, Montana's like fucking... Montana's life-changing nice. Wow. Go rafting down the Missouri River. Go down the river. It's like a fucking 500 yard wide river. Life changing. Oh, we I can go. Yeah, we, we have to go. Hit, we the, hit the rapids. We have to hit the river rapids. wild. We have to go river ride right now. Rourke, bears. We're going white water rafting in Maine and we're going to drown. Real. We're going to fucking drown. I'm already dead. Can I die again? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be like, ah, oh, God, you got to drown. We, uh, drown us. Is it an address? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. did I send, oh, I sent you something so stupid. I can't believe what I sent you. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Why you guys do that? Oh, you got it. You got any hit? Oh no, he's gonna um, send me something. All right, cool. Um, we got to tons this and tons. Uh, all right. Yeah. Did it not go? Through? You know what to do is we'll, we can. Nice. Uh, oh no, it's still it's still. Oh seven. yeah. Um, but I can. I'll do one in the meantime. Four ten Deer Path, okay, New Wilmington, okay. Pennsylvania, seven forty five. Okay, this good. beautiful sprawling two thousand. Oh, two thousand and two. Oh okay, good. Prairie style ranch. Um. Unilock driveway. Oh, uh, yeah. nice circle bundle right there. You've put those in there. Yeah, I've done so many. Uh, uh, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, it aged like fucking milk. Um, hmm. Nice house though. Hmm. Uh, hasn't been updated since 02. Exterior siding is fucking nice. Uh, nice. It is. They did a good job with the build. Very uh, uh, arts and crafts style. Um, Fireplace corner units of weird placement for such an oh, okay never mind I thought it was open to I thought it was open to the hallway I thought it's, they, it's I, they put the wall yeah they put the fucking fireplace in the hallway you're like what the idiot um, it's kind of it's nice I guess it's out of the way um, interesting layout good cabinetry nice galley kitchen good cabinetry what nice. about the bath no what about the bathroom <laughs> the oatmeal bathroom oh, is it it's like RuPaul's? oatmeal yeah it is look RuPaul's right there oh. she's telling you you better work. What? <laughs> what? They got two Gabe rugs though. Wow, built-in office space. 
I love RuPaul. Wow. <laughs> RuPaul's coming upstairs right now. He's going to get to work. Yeah, she's here. He's, he's working. Yeah. <laughs> he pops in the door up there. Um, uh, good chair. Good. I think it's a Deceit couch. Nice nice pair of Deceit couches. Big old driveway right there. Big old waste of some money on the driveway. 775. Can't rebuild that. That's for sure. Pennsylvania doesn't hold up comp wise. Price probably is what I'm guessing. Um, but first time to market on a new house, you couldn't rebuild that. 4,200 square feet at 230 bucks a foot. Is that what we're trading around? 173 bucks. Yeah, go for it. We'll go buy that. Mm. If you can swing it, go for it. Um, sick. Should we cut the house? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll. I'll close them. Cool. We have to close. Sorry. Take all these down. Yeah, we don't want to miss anybody. That's not the rule. We're not here to fuck anybody over. We're gonna hit your house. No weird all shit. Chats. We're gonna hit them all. We're not gonna miss a goddamn thing. You go ahead, hit chat. Okay. Uh, so we got, sorry, one sec. Mmm. We got, mm. uh, we got Brandon, uh, Brendan Naughton with 20 bucks. Yo, met you guys today at the shoot. It was so sick being there. Chuck, thanks again for putting me on to At The Drive-In. You Yo. guys are the best. Uh, ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should be playing at the The best album? Of all time. Oh, yeah. This relationship of command from 2000. Uh, Best album uh, of all time. Uh, Nothing beats it. Nothing. It, no, no. It's 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 in, it's it's an imp impossibly good album. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Love that. We got uh, John Tuttle with the 25. Charles, if I take my daily C vitamin with zinc, will that protect my bones from Flint, Michigan tap? I don't want to rust. Uh, I don't like rust. Hey, hey, thanks. Hey, thanks for that right there. You know, I used to believe in supplementation. But it makes me nervous now. Uh, I mean, what's going to prepare you from from any tap water situations is getting a distiller and then getting some sort of trace mineral drops and then remineralizing the water yourself. You'll never have to worry about it ever again for the rest of your life. Just do that. Uh, but taking pills, like, I just, you, I just you don't. Like, you, you like? Yeah, I was the biggest. I trust trust yep. vitamin at any time. Yeah, I was the biggest into it, but I got to a point where if one thing, I mean, you apply the old tried and true adage that applies to everything, just like I'll say. If one thing is fake, if there's one lie exposed or one thing is fake, that means it's all fake and it's all lies. So, you know, things, What got you? It's just- What's one that you saw that you didn't like? No, I just, I don't know what's in it. I'd have to get, I'd have to get everything I take third party tested to even know what's in it. And what's- What, what Rainbow Naturals isn't, is lying us? No, no uh, Amazon purchased Rainbow Naturals uh, like four years ago. Oh no. Like yeah, oh, I remember, no, I remember Rainbow Naturals 100%. They were purchased you, by you, like, you were a big Rainbow Naturals fan. Yeah, you were like, That's, those are good vitamins. Yeah, no, now no, Amazon buys them? What yeah. do you do to them? I just, I just don't, uh, look, I'll just try my best to eat food. Uh, or if I have to supplement in something, I, mean, I guess you could get it from an organ, you could get it from something. You can get vitamin C injections or whatever, you can't eat a thousand oranges. But when it, when it comes to pills and fillers or binders or industrial lubricants, like what's in these pills? Um, if there's one bad ingredient in a pill, it's going to negate the benefits you get from the other things that you that you want. It's got bile in it. Yeah, who knows what's got? It's got your own pubes in it. <laughs> I mean, you don't know. It can have the pharaoh's pube, King Tut. But I, I don't trust. I just don't trust it. When it comes to magnesium, I'll take it topically. Uh, I mean, I can't eat a thousand oranges, but I just don't trust supplements. I don't. If look, if it were good for you and it were healthy for you and it negated environmental warfare and extended your life it wouldn't be allowed to be sold. And I know that, I mean, you can apply it, you could look at that and, I just don't believe it. You could say they would leave it out there. I mean, you can go back and forth about this, but I'm saying if it was good for you, it would be outrageously expensive or you would not be able to get it. Like and, caviar. Yeah, like caviar. <laughs> caviar. Um, I missed one from Hourglass. Uh, I sent 25 Canadian. Wow, um, that's a lot of money there. We got, uh, my, he said, my dad told me uh, I could take home anything over 2500 if I sell his truck for him. Nice. I end up getting an offer for 3800 3, My dad comes in the room mid-deal and says, if you give me 3 k it's yours. May or may not commit elder abuse. No, Roll don't it. take it. Roll it. Take the money. Truck sucks? A truck for 3800 bucks? Hmm. Hold on. What do you mean? If you give me what? 3 k it's yours? Uh, yeah, he said, if you give me 3 k it's yours. You offered less? I got you. Nah, roll it. Find something better. Go buy a worse truck. 
go make a worse movie. He, he, he passes up a decent truck for three grand, goes buys a, a fucking uh, check engine light rat box for fucking no. Uh, get yeah, get a get a rate uh, three grand for a decent pickup truck right now. Any uh, anything, I don't care what it is, small, big, large, don't care. It's kind of kind of decent. Take a, take a long look. I'd like to know a little bit more about the truck to, to give you an honest answer, my man. Hmm. We got uh, like with twenty five. Thanks for the stream, guys. Life getting stressful. Uh, feel in over my head at work. Uh, Girl, I like ask some other do out. Oh. Uh, streams, streams keep me from shoving some lead through my skull. Good Ooh. to see Chuck back in the mix. Missed you, big dog. Hey, thank you. Missed you too, man. That's pretty heavy right there. Yeah, That's... don't get down. It's just broads. It's just sex, and I mean, it only gets so tight. <laughs> I mean, it can only get. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, no, yeah, you're completely right. We got uh. <laughs> Yeah, if you're down in the ditches, though, man, don't worry. Always laugh at it. You, 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 all you can do is laugh at it. It's all you can do. That's my burn through the witches. Yeah, <laughs> dig through the ditches. It's be better for you. We got uh, muddy ant seven six three with twenty five. Just got thirty seven k in back pay from VA disability. Got a twenty three Forte GT. Thoughts? What should I do with the two k a month I'm getting? Currently going to college. Thinking about using it to move out of my parents. I'm twenty three. Uh, what do you do? Can I just read that one? Oh, yeah, 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 you got a 23 key. Of, just got a 37 game back pay from a VA disability. Good. Okay. Uh, okay. So you got a four, four key is okay. Just drive that. Okay. So you bought yourself steady wheels. Drive that. Your plan with that car is drive that car until the fucking wheels fall off it. Okay. It's a when you buy a new car and it's new and you just you just your plan is maintain it, oil change it, tires, brakes, wheels, whatever. Keep that fucking thing running and on the road for as long as possible. You have wheels forever. And if you spend 23, 24 grand, 30, 28 grand on a car, if you if you drive the car for 10 years, you drove it for $2,800 a year, you win. And then you're still left with a $6,000 piece in the end. So, you know, like that's the way you're supposed to look at that. Just keep, just keep, uh, don't, that's it though. Don't, 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 don't go buy yourself any more stupid shit. You got a decent head start. Salt away the money. Um, I hope you get a decent rate. Go to DCU, guys. If you guys aren't fucking around with DCU for your auto loans, you're fucking crazy. That's digital, uh, digital credit union. That's that's where you that's where the nerds go to get. That's like a, a pain in the ass check. Go get pre-approved. It's hard to do. Auto loans should only be DCU or a credit union. But you're you're looking you're looking for a quarter point if you go to a credit union. DCU is going to beat the street by a point or two every time. We got Thomas Peterson with twenty. Tell me why I don't need a girlfriend. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. You don't need problems? Why? You don't want headaches? No. I mean, I don't know. My fucking, my fucking wife's fucking talk. She, you know my wife. She, I told her the other night that I didn't need her. You know, she, she fucking pointed a fucking, you know, a bow and arrow with a, like an exploder tip on it. Like Rambo 3. Yeah, Rambo 3 full on fucking soaked sock and kerosene lit on fire one inch from my fucking face. And she's like, you know the only fucking trigger for me is when you tell me I'm worthless. That's what she says. She turns into Rambo when you say yeah, that. She, yeah, she's got she's fucking jacked. <laughs> she's got fucking big shoulders. Rambo got... John Jay. <laughs> uh, but no, she. I I quickly I walked back my comment immediately because I knew I was about to be fucking impaled by a fucking uh, an exploding deer a deer gut tip, the uh, or else. Yeah, that thing's hollow. Point. So you can go my way and uh, or you can just uh, just be forever single. I don't know. For every single second. I mean, if you can find someone that helps you mitigate your own mania, then you've got a winning combination. Yeah. I mean, that's the only thing there is. It's someone that's going to deal with or mitigate your mania. I mean, that's the only thing. That's the only consideration there is. <laughs> no looks, no nothing. Only only mitigation Mitig of mania. Mania mitigation. Yeah. No, like that, you're not even looking at it? There's no other reading? Like it's just that? speed dating with your eyes closed? <laughs> <laughs> you tell her one sentence. You're like, say I come home. And there's no... There's no uh, coffee. <laughs> She's like, well, what I you can tell within one second, you're throwing her aside, you know it's not the right answer. You're speed dating with your eyes closed. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Horse teeth uh, Modano with a 25. Nick, oh. how's your recessed can treating you? I'm talking about your flat ass. Oh. I, I bought <laughs> My recessed can is very, yes! I, I Thank bought, you! I bought the Lurry rug from you. Thanks for the content. I hope to see old episodes on the Gumroad again. Hi, Charles. Lurry rug. Yo. Lurry, yeah, no, you're buying Lurries, buddy. Good for you, man. Uh, Lurries are no joke. That's uh, early Caucasian shit. I uh, love seeing people buy that kind of stuff, man. That's like, that's that's just like great. Early, early shit. They're buying, uh, I got another one. 
I just bought a coolery. We got five star general with the twenty. Love you, Charles. Hey, hey, thanks so much for that, and uh, love you too. Five star general bum. <laughs> <laughs> five star general homeless. We, we got Lev uh, Lev Polyakov with the twenty. Uh, hey. One one more, and hoping we see a pretty princess house tonight. Oh, I hope we see a pretty princess house. What's this up, one might be. Look. Uh, T Hicks with the twenty five. Water is important. Do you guys know of any quality water filtration systems? Uh, mothers of children watch scuffed love the stream wow man uh love that uh not a not a birkin no. uh no 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 Belky no, no 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 filters no 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 just distill it remineralize it yourself no more questions <laughs> i'm saying i'm saying the case is cool. what about well water uh, no that's still got like Forever estrogen, estrogen juice of frogs, like it's frog juice. And I think all the gay frogs in it. Yeah, no, you get it. No, it doesn't matter. What minerals? Distilling and boron. No, they, this is like a concoction. You got trace mineral. I'm sure there's a bunch of them. But uh, no, no, the, the way to get the purest water is you distill it and you remineralize it. I mean, you can use well. Well water is great, but I mean, if you want it pure, if you want to drink it. I drink just, it right out of the ground. Yeah, you could. Just tap, I ju tap it. I, ta I, I tap it. It couldn't be more pure from the source right underneath my forever chemical. It's just right the septic tank you're drinking in <laughs> yeah. pure, pure water. I mix up the, the well pump in the septic tank. I'm drinking my own shit. Oh. Yeah. Oops. We got Spark Z1420 with the 25. Hey, Nick, my house is due for new vinyl siding. How can I get this done without getting screwed money-wise? Also, good to see you, Charles. God bless. Hey, thanks. God bless. Um, Style-wise, um, go... Uh, if you're going to redo the vinyl siding, vinyl, i got to be honest with you, vinyl is something that I've kind of shit on over the years. Vinyl has come a really long way. The builder that we had on the stream, Kevin Ferrand, kind of a big vinyl siding guy. Vinyl, uh, you can do some amazing things. If you want to see a good example of a vinyl siding job that I really liked, look up the Sturbridge Cafe. I know this sounds nuts. Uh, it's a barn, it's a red vi vinyl sided barn and they did an exceptional job at it. And it's, what they did is they didn't break the color on the trim, it's red with red. Um, they did black new windows on it, but it was kind of like, it was a, it's a commercial facility for a coffee shop. So vinyl kind of made sense as far as the build out and, and you're gonna save as far as that versus claps and uh, boran, uh, bor boral siding. It's, or Azek boral LP1 smart side. Um, the job vinyl wise is to stretch the style of your vinyl siding installer um, and make and, and come up with something really cool You can do some cool shit. Just come up with a really good concept um, On what you're gonna do with the vinyl to not get fucked. Just don't do a bad What I'm saying is don't do a fucking bad dumb vinyl job with a moron That's all I'm saying find a good guy that will install something kind of dope on your house. It can happen um, newer modern colors uh, not don't break the trim in the. Uh, I like I like single color. I don't like trim in the. I don't like like white trim with color. I don't know. It's a weird thing, but I feel like it sells for more money if you uh, if you monochrome the, the house. I have I have a bunch more. But Please I can, have I can, it. No, I have it. Have it. Yeah. Um, we got we got Jerry with the twenty. Hey Nick, um, is the saying "house that Jack built" rooted in East Coast culture, or is it a reference to the Lars von Trier movie? with the same name. Also, would it be a mistake to date a waitress in Montreal? No, it's probably the best idea to date a waitress in Montreal. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oui, oui. Je dis pour en en face. Montreal. No, no, House that Jack built is typically uh, the, the, the colloquialism that I've come to know it as yeah. is a, a term for a house that started as a small something and now it's a large something, but it's just janky addition on addition that's the term that we use for that the house that jack built that's that's just like a term it's just a, it's a, it's a term for a low grade um additioned house we got mad split with the 20 uh nick kid that works for me just bought a mint 03 lexus ls 430 with 160k miles on it for five thousand dollars told him it would it was sold told him it was a solid move did i steer him wrong chuck on the scuffed realtor stream hell yeah md never dies Appreciate it. Thank you. No, Thanks. nah. He he could have bought it for maybe like thirty eight fifty or forty two fifty, but uh, if it's a good color and the like the seats are nice and the car was like well maintained, I'm fucking LS four. Those cars are. But how does that compare to the four four hundred? That's the one. Oh. The four thirty is what the nomenclature changed from four hundred in nineteen ninety. No no no, it's the same car. Oh. Okay. Four thirty. Then that. it became five hundred, five eighty. It's just the, that's it's the most classic that you can get. It's the best. The, the 02 really is when they really started to get, like, I love the 97, 98.
just out of looks with the, the big uh, monoblock wheels. Um, a rich friend of mine in high school had one. I used to drive us around it. It was the coolest fucking thing. It was white. It was so 97? fast. Yeah, 97 Lexus. We used to take it to fucking was. skiing. I was like, this is the coolest car I've ever seen in my life. We got, um, we got a ski for the 20, trying to quit the SIGs and also trying to not hit my boss in the head with a rock. Any advice? Thanks for the years of entertainment, fellas. Keep it up. Make it a job to make him your friend. I used to hate my boss so much. I want to like. I used to want to like crush his head with a fucking cinder block. But you made him your friend. I had them. You speed dated him a little bit. I speed dated him. Brotherly. <laughs> Brotherly speed dating. Uh, and I would just like. I just wanted to find his interest, and it was Porsches. And I just like learned a lot about Porsches. And I would like read up on it. And then it just became a little bit of a game because you're not going to win. You're hating your boss is. It's not a good game to play. You're playing chicken with someone that it's it's like playing chicken with someone that's not in your hands. It's yeah. playing with it's like playing chicken with someone that's not even driving the car that's that's coming towards you. Yeah. <laughs> he's just got a remote. He's control. sending a car. He's sitting back. He's, he's like, like this. Oh, he's, like, right he's like, oh, I'm getting nervous. You're getting pretty close. He's not even in the car. <laughs> you're crashed. You're fucking bleeding your guts out of your head. Your tongue is in your fucking top of your ears. <laughs> your organs are out yeah. like a deer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're fucking kissing your kidneys. Uh, we got Ryan Smith with the twenty six. Nick, you were amazing on set today. Me and my girlfriend and my buds had a blast in the bleachers watching you guys. Big love from Tewksbury. Yo, thank Tewksbury. you. Tewksbury. Wow. Yo, thank, thank you, man. I, I appreciate that. Uh, we had a good time today. We got Gabe with the 25. Goo Goo Gaga, I'm a baby. Whoa, congratulations. Ah, no way. Yeah. Oh, I'm a baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, oh, thank you, man. P appreciate that. Um... Let's see here. Uh, we're gonna jump out. You got, you got a ton. I got a ton. Yeah, yeah. Just real. I don't want to miss anybody's chat. We got houses. I, I I cut the houses early, so we'll be good. Don't worry. Uh, we got Kenford with the twenty five. Good to see you, Charles. Glad you're back with MDE, and can't wait for World Peace too. I think Charles needs a handshake from John Stupid. Has he ever met him? The Stupid family's thing, blood right? runs deep. Oh. MDE never dies. So in Thank North you. in North Carolina, the fucking houses are built ten feet in the air. So I pretended that uh, it was built by a guy named John Stupid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I built him 10 feet in the air. John Stupid, my cousin. That bad housing ideas are always done by stupid contracting. Is stupid. it like a mud flood thing, though, or what's the deal? They're, they're just fucking idiots. Oh, okay, so it is like a stupid thing. It's, it's old John Stupid. Okay. You, know, you know how they do things in the fucking South, they're old John Stupid. Yeah, things are done a little bit more nonchalantly. Uh, in Florida, they make fucking five-lane highways dip into one lanes. That was like a problem in the mid-2000s, <laughs> the mid-aughts. That sounds easy. Yeah, they're like us. Oh, they're developing Florida. They're putting five-lane highways. They're immediately dumping into ones. They don't understand traffic. Their civil engineers are all fucking huffing paint. We got uh, Ben Davis with the 20 bucks. Pro tip, if you're late for something and someone asks, just tell them you were a judge for a men's kissing competition. Mm. It works the best for formal occasions. I was just judging the men's kissing competition. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> I mean, that get, that's a card you can pull anywhere in the world. <laughs> Literally. Come on. You can pull that up. Not even Batman has that card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We, we got uh, JP. I was judging a big men's kissing competition. <laughs> I was judging a men's kissing competition, Rachel. We got uh, JPB with the twenty. Nick and Chris love the format. Got my old man to tune in. Great to see you, Charles. Hey, what's up to your old man? How you doing, brother? You, you, you got a kid with a good head on his shoulders. Give him, give him nine grand. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a good heart. Yeah, he's got a good heart. Cut him a check for nine grand, pops. Boom. He's been doing it. Boom, battle while it's getting fatter. I come, mean, <laughs> come on. Uh, we got good Dad, give him nine grand. <laughs> we got good horse with, with the 20 bucks. Oh, hey, no. Chuck and Nick, what's the best drill bit for glory holes? I need a real clean cut. Splinters really hurt. Oh, uh, that's a good question. I definitely want to rig that to a Hilti drill for sure. The oh. only time I'm ever drilling, uh, drill, drilling glory holes in a Hilti drill. Hilti, okay, I'll remember that too. Oh yeah, you get Hil Hilti pieces. So you can do like a multi freaking thing. Oh, you're burning through holes. You can do five glory holes. You got a fucking 80 cocks. To go through <laughs> 80 cocks just pointing at you. <laughs> okay. yeah, it's a cylinder. <laughs> you slide through. <laughs> They're all sliding in like the five lanes into one. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> we got an untitled Richard Nixon fan account with 25. Currently working as a medical laboratory technician with an associate's degree, working on my bachelor's so I can do laboratory management. Big debate uh, is should I become a doctor later in life or no? Love you both. God bless. No. Now the schooling you're going to have to go through, laboratory management, this is just coming from one anecdote. You can take from this what you want. My friend who's the, my, I have a friend who builds really, really, uh, he builds every skyscraper in Boston. He exclusively now works on medical laboratory space. Very, very high dollar 
projects. Medical laboratory management is, that's, that's a growing trend. No one is gonna know how to do that. Get nasty at that. I'll bet you the, the 275 that you would probably cap out over 10 years would probably make more than the 510 you'd make as a doctor in 12 years after $200 million worth of fucking schooling. But you go to, you go to, do, you be a doctor, you want to be replaced by an AI in three years? Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. We got a Cairo with the 20 bucks. Yo, Nick, I grabbed that vintage Anatolian off you yesterday. What do you estimate its age at? Uh, if it, 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 the Anatolian. Oh, the, uh, 40s, oh. probably. 38 to 48. It doesn't have the old 20s, pre 20s die. Size wise, nice piece though. If that's the piece I'm talking about, uh, I think. But nice, uh, I like that. I, I, I picked that from I picked that up from a buddy of mine who's a, a cool collector. Ben, we got uh, Jake R with 25. Hey Nick, I currently have a 13 Corolla with 70k miles. Been getting bored of it and want something fun. I found an 05 C55 with 100k miles on it for 6,500 thoughts. That's not bad. Um, C55, you're gonna want to. Uh, with a hundred on it, it's at that major service. You have a ninety thousand mile major, ninety thousand mile major mile service on a C fifty five. That's like six grand at a Mercedes dealership. Um, you can kind of a la carte it yourself if you have a good Mercedes mechanic. Good piece. You're buying it at the bottom of the, the C fifty five. Is a fat car. Uh, was it is a C? He didn't say C fifty five. C fifty five. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. I like those. I had a CL fifty five. I loved it, and I sold it for a lot. I, I made I made a lot of money on. We got Verdun with the. Fi- I had one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. We got the. Uh, we got Verdun with the twenty-five bucks. Uh, working with a boss that hates my guts. When I tried to mend fences, he asked me if I ever enjoyed working here and gaslit me for an hour. Super bad vibes. Thoughts on dealing with bosses you don't respect or are idiots. Mm. Oof. Yeah. It's two hours of gaslighting. You. Yeah. Um, try it once and ask him straight up. Like, uh, get under his gut. I, uh, what do you do with it when you know people like fucking hate? I, I, you, you just. Do you ask them? You gotta. You, oh, yeah. Why do you. Is there. Like, <clears throat> do you not like me or something? Confrontational? I'm just like. I'm kind of like a confrontational kind of guy. I don't know. Do you not like me? You know? What's the problem? We have a. Like, is there a fucking. I problem? mean, that sounds better than just taking a gaslight, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, for fucking years. Like, is, do you, like, is there, like. What, and honestly, just tell me what you fucking hate about me. We got a donkey with the 20. Pull your pants down and show taints. If you can, quickly. You can do a wristwatch like penis puppeteers. I show them a, a cheeseburger, a wristwatch doing uh, penis cocks. <laughs> you're doing that. You're doing bubble gum, and you got you, you got your satin gum, and then you got mouse. You got baby mouse. Look at this. Uh, <laughs> we got donkey with the twenty. Uh, thinking of entering the telecom industry as a tower climber. Should I say screw it and climb five hundred plus feet for that paycheck? Yeah. Love the sc- love the stream. Love y'all. Funny as hell. Yo, dude. Tower tower climbers make money. Yep. They're making money. Straight up. That's another one of those industries you don't hear about. Fucking Verizon Towers, you expect me to tell me you, you expect me to tell you that industry is going anywhere? It's Ver- not it's, Verizon. It's not going it's not going out. Verizon's very cool. There's you never hear about them. They're always just a good company. You never hear shit about Verizon. They're just constantly just streaming. They're like Amazon, but like quiet. There's no fucking CEO, fucking Tony Gonzalez. No, no one's mouthing off. Yeah. We got uh Shifty Eye Shady with the twenty five. Hi Charles. Hey, and gifted 10 memberships. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Whoa, damn. You get a 10 membership. And please like the stream. It's all so easy. You hit the like button. And then maybe something good. YouTube send me like a gift basket or like an edible, yeah, edible arrangements. We got N8 Zula with 25. Sup, Chuck? Yeah. Uh, how does a person of your archetype trust Chinese vapes? Asking so I can rationalize my own behavior. Cheers. Oh. Well, thanks for that, pal. Well, I say there's no rationalizing that you're getting poisoned. I mean, there's, there's no rational. I'm right there with you. You're, you're like screwed when you're doing it. You feel good right now? Let me ask you. Do you feel good? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm saying you get poisoned. You know it. Uh, I'm pick, trying to quit. You're gonna pick your poison. I guess. Yeah, I guess you're gonna pick. I mean, they they steal the, the years off your life no matter what. They get you. Chinese though. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we got Jiblonius with the twenty-five. Longtime watcher, first time donator. You have no idea how happy it makes me to see you two goons together again. <laughs> Love you all. Also, pee pee poo poo, haha. And then mm. he just wrote the 
wrote a bad word 27 times. Oh, no. nice. All right. We got uh, Joshua Joshua Detar with 20 gifted memberships. 20 gifted member chinks. Whoa, that's a lot of memberships. That's crazy. I can't believe it. So. <laughs> we got Drungus with the 25. Sorry if you guys get this a lot, but the man that never... The man that never would be sketch is by far one of my faves. Very cool to see see real effort from genuine dudes. Ecstatic Charles is here. Thanks. It's oh, so good to be oh, here. It was, it was, it was an, okay, that's a I was puking bit. after that. People don't know. I was puking. Oh, yeah. Puking in the bathroom, puking over someone's wheels in the parking lot. I wish someone was recording. Jumping, diving out, full ribs. It was unbelievable. I <laughs> that was, was so funny. Like, I was going to the medical guy. I was like, oh, my God. Am I all good? He's like, oh, just get down on your back. Put your legs up on the chair. I was like, I feel... F- I was spilled, but he's like, no, he's good. You're right. uh, I actually hit yeah. him up. I was like, yo, am I okay? I remember, yeah. It you was so rocking. crazy. And punching yeah. through the fucking uh, mattress things. Yeah, that it was, was unbelievable. Ripping a mattress apart. <laughs> uh, we got Dublo with 20. Hey, Nick, my 2014 Subaru uh, 30, 35K miles just died. Engine issues related to heat, get, uh, head gasket issues. Yep. I have 11K left in my loan. Do I fix it mm. and sell it or fix and keep it for years? Yeah, unfortunately, when you're like 11k, this is what I. This is a little bit of a, one of those precautionary tales. Like when you buy a loan on an, you have an old a loan on an old car with a really high major malfunction, like a, a head gasket blown. Um, it's a it's a twenty five hundred dollar problem that you're just gonna have to suck out of the fucking bottom of your toilet, and you just have to eat it, fix it, pay for it, and get the fucking thing paid for, and then trade out of it into the first good deal that you see. You owe too much on that car. The car's worth sixty. You're upside down in it too, which is double, double bad. I'm not trying to hone. Uh, 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 it sucks, but you got to fix it. We got uh, a Tomsk arson with a thirty-five dollars. Nick and Chris, you rule in the stream is superlative. Charles, so glad you're here. Your videos make me feel five D. Right now, <laughs> I work for my old man doing hardwood floors. Uh, good work, but I feel like I'm screwed when I when I gotta learn the business side. No, you're not. It's easy. It's a fucking flooring job, buddy. Don't overthink it. You get paid. They want to do the flooring job. Twelve grand. You give them a bill. You do the job. You take, you know, half a front. Don't overthink it. Flooring's not going anywhere. Learn the fucking trade. Flooring's a great. If you like it, if you don't like it, flooring's a very uh, flooring's a good one to scale because you have a lot of floorers. Painting, flooring, siding, roofing. Those are the ones. If you ever want to scale a company, that's the ones where you can hire a lot of guys and not like not building. Not cabinet making, not fancy stuff, production stuff. Grow the company. You'll be all right. We got Thin, thin Bobbers with the 25. I just got an 06 RAV4 four, four cylinder with 120K uh, miles for 10 grand and then heard they burned oil after. Is this selling Is selling it a priority or is this going to be mucho bueno? It should be fine. What, 06 RAV? 06 RAV. For 10? Uh, for 10 grand, yeah. Jesus Christ. Must have been night. It must have been a loaded XLE or something. Um, you're fine. Don't worry about it. I heard they burn out. Don't worry. Yeah, I heard. I heard the transmissions on the fucking 04 uh, MDXs fall out. They're the fucking. They're the most. They're the longest running SUVs on the road. People are like, oh, the fucking transmissions get gummy on them. Uh, they're, they're fucking. They're driving perfectly. They're like tanks. They're, they're they're fucking. They're British tanks. The ones you can't buy in yeah. the desert. <laughs> yeah. With the Toyota trucks that you can't buy. They yeah. run for four, five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, Hilux, Japanese built Hilux. So good. Uh, we got uh, steel, steel with the twenty-five. So great to see this uh, merriment and mirth. The pure laughs are palpable. Much love, Charles, Nick, and Chris. Oh, mm. taste it. Um, we got mm. we got big guy with the twenty guys. Need serious advice. I inherited one point seven million last year. Invested in stocks uh, through Merrill Lynch and got a house uh, on a loan from them. And just found out I'm gonna be a dad. Mm. In high school dropout stoner with no marketable skills. What do I do? A uh, million seven. You got a loan. Okay, they're giving you a loan. They're not. They're not giving you a gift. They're giving you a fucking loan. You got a million seven. Okay. Always remember if someone's giving you something on your money, it's like fucking what? You know your red flags. Mm. A bank's giving you a, like again one of those. We things. like you. Yeah. Oh, we like you now. You oh, I'll talk. Smooth. My friend, my friend works for Maryland. She told me he couldn't even talk to me if I had unless I had five hundred thousand in my bank account. Um, I I handed him a stick of dynamite. <laughs> yeah, handed I handed him a stick of dynamite with this much. Wiggle. He handed me a jizzing dick. Yeah. <laughs> Say, taste this. So um, yeah, just uh, uh, but no marketable skills. Uh, you're fine. Go go easy. Go slow. Um, think about it. I mean, it's a big question, but try to think of something that you really like. 
Um, keep a day job and stay humble. Buy Hondas. Be one of those guys. Do not piss through the fucking money right now. You're gonna be. You can make some moves in a couple of months. Uh, we got Jay Meliot with uh, twenty bucks. Nick, what are your thoughts on post World War II built homes? I have a home that's built in '57. That's four sided brick, cinder block outer walls with plaster interiors. I can barely hear a storm roll through. Yeah, they're the best. Mm. Yeah, I lived in a 40, 47 built ranch with cinder block. Fucking sleep like a baby. You're gonna still. I'm getting the nice concrete off gases. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, yeah, the the, the old the older house. I mean, this, that's the that's that's what I like. I mean, I, I'm I'm talking about one right here. Um, yeah, that that's the go- that, that's just some great stuff there, man. That they live quiet, especially the brick shit. Go ahead, you want to brick a house right now? Go get a price to brick a house. You'll fucking die. You want to shoot the guy in the head? Is it that bad? Hey, you can't like do like it. brick. You want to like brick like my barn? If you want to brick this, they're like, it's all right, it's cool. It's on ninety four thousand. Why? It's brick. brick. No, no, it's brick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's brick. Oh, you didn't understand. You weren't listening. It's brick. Brick. You gotta pour the foundation different. You gotta do a brick ledge. Oh, uh, we got uh, Jadon with the 50 bucks. Mr. Pregnant and John Stupid in the same room is life changing. Mm. Th- thoughts on St. George, Utah, slash the Southwest in general. God bless. Utah's fucking it. Utah's what? Judah. Lost tribe of Judah. That's where uh, that's where they were hanging out. That's all uh, biblical sites in in the uh, North America, especially in that area. <laughs> Utah, Utah is uh, yeah Judah. I remember. I, I blew my mind too. I'd never put it together. <sighs> yeah. Well, it was Ju- it was that the whole time. Uh, we got uh, Meester Man with twenty five. Yo Nick, I'm going through the Scuff Realtor experience, joining my pops on house showings. Makes me want to punch a hole through my truck steering wheel. What's the oldest Mazda 3 that's worth a damn? Uh, Camrys are expensive. Yeah, uh, 16, 17, 18. Maybe. 14, but I want it for 6 grand, 7 grand, 8 grand. 8 grand. I want one for 8,500 bucks that's financeable. I want a cheap one that didn't know what they had, and I want it in a weird color with wheels. That's a custom built. Mazda owners are very weird. They're like poor Porsche people. Mazda owners are like poor Porsche people. Remember that. So when you look at Mazdas, try to find one that was spec built. The guy took care of it. He was a weirdo. It's the only brand I've ever seen where people take care of a twenty-three thousand dollars unit like it's nine hundred thousand dollars. Mm, Mazda's good. Are Camrys expensive? Camrys are thirty-nine grand now. Mm. Camrys used to be twenty-four. Mm. Mm. You, still the best though. Camrys are still God, God's chariot. The, <laughs> the real God's chariot. Oh, we got Christian with the twenty-five euros. Uh, planning to start a business light restoring 90s bucket cars uh, to functionally new shape. Rented a shop for a year now. Haven't finished one car yet. Self-teaching repairs. Living with parents, 35 euros an hour day job. Is Bob stupid my uncle? What the hell's a bucket car? That's some weird kind of lingo. Euros? Bucket cars? Buddy, I don't even know what the hell you're fixing. Bucket? How the hell can a five gallon bucket be a car? That doesn't even make sense. Ford makes the bucket still? Ford's making bucket cars in Europe. That's news to me. I don't know how it makes sense, but I don't know what you're fixing. Um, I haven't fixed one. You gotta fix them. Uh, we Business got... plans, finish the fucking... Run through the finish line, my man. We got uh, FJ with the 20. Hey, Nick, it's Frank from The Shoot. We chatted about insurance fraud. Thank you guys <laughs> for the great show today. Had a great time. Yo. Thank you, dude. Insurance fraud. You want to know a good insurance fraud trick? Get a fish tank. Ooh. Fish tank. Class 3 damage. Really? Yep. Water. Water. Drinkable water? Class 1. Not a lot of money for the repair. Shit water? Or oh, water that might have shit in it? Class 2. Fish tank? Class 3 automatically. Really? Automatic Broken fish three. tank? Nice insurance job. Uh, we got Dr. Octagon with 25. Nick, I make the custom I make the custom house keys, Castle Key Co. on, oh. on Instagram. How do I start dealing with yard full of weeds? There's so much info out there, and it's hard to filter through it. What machines can I rent to do the work for me? Two uh, K square feet. Uh, Two thousand square feet. Go rent a uh, like a little mini excavator from Home Depot and wreck it. Teach yourself. Scratch the whole thing down to nothing. Turn it all over. Buy new loom, get the crap out of there, um, shake the weeds out, get new loom in there, start fresh. Two thousand square feet, nothing. That's nothing. 
uh, rent, yeah, rent a, uh, or you can rent a, uh, an almond backhoe, which is a little shitty backhoe. Rent the Home Depot shit. Home Depot, because they'll never fuck with you and you can wreck and break their equipment. You teach yourself how to operate it. Look it up, rent it, no one knows anything. Rent the truck to trailer it to your house. Break Home Depot rental equipment on your house, period. End of story. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Fuck Arthur Blank. Okay. He's a, yeah, yeah. You, well, anytime you want to do anything, you rent their equipment, you fuck it up. Home you teach yourself. Is. You're raking it. You're like, should I learn excavators? Oh yeah, if you want, you you rent one. It's a fucking three hundred and eighty dollars a day. You're breaking their you're breaking their ten thousand dollar machine. So you just get a trailer. You just get a trailer. It comes much. on a trailer. Oh. oh, you don't have a truck? No problem. You rent their truck. So I can get it right here. We can learn right now. You rent the whole yeah. <laughs> you come upstairs. And I'm like, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you're <laughs> sliding down into the bed of your you're, truck. You're crawling in the window with it. <laughs> you're, you can see the bucket. Lifting it in the bucket. Yeah, you're coming up through the window. You're breaking the windows out like this. We got uh, Dalton Fisher with the 33. Love that the boys are back in town. I own a company doing video content for blue collar businesses, Lands landscapers, contractors, roofers, lawn care, etc. How can I get on these guys' good sides right away so I can sell to them easier? Uh, landscaping's not an easy. Long, landscaping's kind of a, like a slow play. You kind of like it's a very word of mouth business. Good news is is that when it reaches. Um, a boiling point you get busy right away and that you're like you're like not nothing 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 something everything never need business again so um slow play just honestly how do you get on the good side be the best your landscaping jobs when they finish are the coolest looking ones people know about it trust me when i was a landscaper i would do cool jobs and if someone did something cool i would want to know their name be the best be cool uh, we got MK with the 25. Hope this makes it through. Love you guys. MD forever. Nuked out, smoked out. Big 444 for you all. Peace. Yo. Peace. Hell yeah. What's 444? Um, um, uh, Anoma Laos with the 25. Hey, Nick and Charles. Ever think of bringing back some more of the dark truth? Tommy <laughs> is still out there looking for the crime, Crimean. The Crimean Peninsula. The Crimean Pyramids. And we need more bone. God, I remember that. Yeah, that was so oh my fun. God. Oh my God, that was the best day ever. Uh, Danger Dan, uh, Nick, do you still smoke a lot of weed? Any chance you take a dab? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I quit the stuff. What is that? No, I quit the stuff. I'm, <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm yeah. strictly tobacco. It's a grinder. I'm gonna jump back into. I gotta jump into houses. Okay, I have what, to. What I'll do is uh, I'll I'll screenshot. Screenshot. All, them. All right, I got you. Yeah, we got it. I'm gonna jump back in this house. I don't want to piss anybody. We want to. I gotta keep it. OG, this house. Uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, 475, 395. Great house. Great piece of property. It's Pennsylvania. It won't come out as far as the live. Buddy, this house is sick. I've, shown, I've been showing it for 20 minutes. This is a good house. Needs flooring where the carpet is. I bet you there's hardwood underneath all this. Wallpaper, not a big deal. Steaming. This is a paint and steam and clean job. Don't touch this bathroom. Please just keep it as is. Change the wallpaper only. Please, God, don't touch anything. Change the toilet seat top or the toilet, but do not change it. Fucking finished basement. Um, great live, custom builds with all the options. Established landscaping. This little English garden is a little silly, but you can definitely make those U hedges a little nicer. Clean this up a lot. You definitely get marijuana trees instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can definitely get some bud in there. Um, great piece of property. Um, actually like it a lot. Uh, honestly, not fucking around. So we're, we're hitting the houses. I'm screenshotting every super chat I get. So it's all, it's it's all there. It's all good. We will not miss, I, we will not miss anything. Crazy it's action. a wild night. It's, it's Ch Crazy. Chuck's here. Hey, it's it's it's, it's Charles. I got a listing of my own to put forth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got to figure a way to send it. Yeah, to well, I'll, we'll, uh, I'll figure it out. It's a it's a link. It's a special link. Okay. So I'll figure, hmm. we'll figure it out. Figure it out. I'll, I'll email it to myself. Yeah, uh, I'll type it in word for word. Mm -hmm. like <laughs> I get the letters. Put the address one. in. Yeah, it's I'm um, backslash backslash. <laughs> Ampersand. Yeah. <laughs> It's fuck it's a, it's a fucking spell. I bleed out of my eyes when I'm typing it. <laughs> you want to do it yourself? <laughs> I'm drawing with myself a big pen. I'm I'm writing fucking the Latin. Ugh. With ballpoint pen. You're drawing it with your own blood. <laughs> I'm spirit cooking with my finger. You're drawing it with semen. <laughs> Will Farrell's there? Oh god, Hugh Jackman's there. <laughs> He's on a plane ride of Brian Singer with a bunch of boys. No one cares. <laughs> Good. Why should I care if no one else does? <laughs> It's good. Let him get laid. <laughs> uh, 6025 Mountain Lake Drive, Lakeland, Florida. Uh, nice nice enough contemporary swamp. You get an alligator bite. If you fucking, oh, yeah. Oh. Just like you go you down. Bite your ass off. Yeah, yeah. Fucking alligators down there just fucking being a psychopath. <laughs> Holy shit. We all, oh, your ass will fall off. You've even seen one of those things. Yeah. All right. 
All right. Um, you got guardrail. I like the guard. That's highway guardrail, man. Built a backwards guardrail retention wall. Oh. That's not even. It shouldn't even be real. That's you should. Are those cover. Jersey barriers. Yeah, those are Jersey barriers. <laughs> Until the ground, the guy was a highway worker. Hundred wow. percent. That's how that. Guys like Eric, like the guys that work on Eric's side, they're like, just take it home. I'll we'll make a fucking wall out of it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? The fuck? Um, pretty monster houses on the left and right of it. This one actually has a yeah. better uh, advantage. Like, th th this house lot is better than this house lot. This roof line is bigger than this roof line. Um, not not bad. I mean, it's not not a bad house. It will take nice to modernity. 475 quarter acre. Uh, as long as it's not a flood zone. It's got a fifty dollars HOA, buck ninety three a square foot. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good house, man. Um, buck eighty in nineteen ninety seven. Who gives a fuck about that price? First time to market. Uh, yeah, I like it. I mean, does four and a quarter get it done? But uh, again, go in with an offer. It's fucking time to start making offers. We're not playing fucking full retail games, guys. Remember that. We're cool. We listen, we watch a stream about real estate where um, we know that Hugh Jackman's flying around kissing uh, Ellen John's piano. Yeah, yeah. Um, he gets nice rides. He eats some body, cannibal cake or something like that. So it's all cool. He's Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, I know. Who cares? Uh, Butte, Montana. Six, seven, this is, I like this. One, six, I, I'm always a big sucker for the Bricks Cheapies. Um, 160. 1920s little like, uh, fucking like row house or whatever the fuck they call this thing. Oh, oh, what are we doing? It's like a little post office. Oh, I, that's probably what it was. It's probably a, look at Zillow's fucking me. Oh, it's a bordello. It's a whorehouse. Yeah, wow. 1,400 square feet. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to call this thing a buy no matter what. <clears throat> um, nice. You have a. Eh, you got clean trying to make it work. Uh, it's a buck sixty. That's the basement, by the mm. way. That's the basement foundation, What's basement that, bedroom. Oven? Um, yeah, some people, some 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 people in some types will put basements in the bedroom, bedrooms in the basement, like it's no big deal. Um, kind of dangerous. I, I love it. I think it's a great house. Uh, I don't care for the bedrooms in the basement. They're probably uh, soaking wet, moisture, mold, etc. Even though M Montana is dry as a bone, the layout of the house is going to be a little difficult to modify uh, unless you rip it to the ceiling. So you're going to have to rip the ceilings out of this thing if you want to go all the way up. But it's a nice piece. Uh, Buck sixty. Montana's fucking desirable. I don't know what else to say. It's been on the market for 31 days, 1909. And I, uh, I like it. It was, uh, yeah, it was 46 grand. I don't think they're being that aggressive. I think they take a buck on anybody who bought something. Thank you. Anybody who bought something for uh, 45 will take 125 for it. Just remember, they couldn't get a loan on it. Anybody who bought a house for 40000 couldn't get a loan out, so there's no bank in the way. So it's basically just how much money do you want to take in cash. That's a very, very good spot to make someone a cash offer or a, uh, you know, just get them off the fucking property. So uh, just throwing that out there. Um, we'll do one more, and then we'll jump back into the chat. Okay. Vermas. Vermas Ave, Toledo, Ohio. Oh, they're very cute. I'm from Google already knows where I'm going. Oh, they knows? Yeah, wow. they know. They were like this. Oh, I know what you're doing. Oh, it saved your draft and your emails. <laughs> I just thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's Google. Save everything I type. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I appreciate that. I was looking for That's that. Great. <laughs> Screenshot everything. Sixty-eight thousand. We're in Toledo, Ohio. I mean, I know Ohio's got their water problem right now, but they'll probably fix that quickly. Um, I like Ohio. I don't know what to say. The fucking houses. I mean, look, it's a little. Uh, I mean, it's 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 a little bit beat. It's fifty eight grand. I think a bank will probably stick a loan on it. You probably have a local credit union that'll put a loan on it. The kitchen sucks. It's got a drop ceiling. It's got a front porch. Nice house. It's a nice piece. It doesn't look that fucked up. It's fifty eight grand. What, what are they calling it? Fifty eight down seven. You're, it's pending. Um, it's sold for seventy grand. All right, so someone's backing out of a cash buy. It sold two years ago for seventy grand. The guy's getting the fritz, and now he's selling it for seventy grand. Oh, it's, oh, he's losing money on it. I hope you bought it. You're gonna win. You'll be fine. Hmm. Someone just someone just bought a bunch of properties. Now they're backing out. They want their money back, which is a, a thing you're gonna find. Guys who had five hundred thousand dollars went and bought five pieces of shit, and now they just need cash because they want to get out. They were playing, and now they, they don't want to play anymore. I'll take my money back. Very good uh, situation hmm. for someone who actually just needs a house for themselves. You're good, Chris. Okay. That's the it's the grinder, yeah. <laughs> the Italian grinder. Okay, we got we got your favorite son of the twenty five. Glad to see the boys back together again. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yo, yo, thank you, dude. Appreciate that. We got XDMA five UA with twenty. Charles, yeah. You, Sam, and Nick reuniting sets an example that we all needed. Thanks to you all. 
Um, holding Thanks. account accountability, working it out, man, man to bring us up. Uh, this is very cryptic. Uh, World Peace Two, MD Two, Chapter Two, World Domination. Let's do this, Dirty Mike from Memphis. Hell yeah! Thanks, Thanks. Mike. It's DJ Magic Mike. Uh, D- DJ Magic Mike gonna bring home the bass. <laughs> DJ Magic Mike's gonna bring the bass. Oh, bring the bass. Bring the bass. Bring the bass. I heard that in so long. Yeah, we're gonna put those gonna DJ. Ma- Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. It is. It is the best. It's all mirth. Ah, uh, we got we got fifty bucks from Fish Aguilar eighty nine. I'm late to the stream. I love my Chamonix corduroy hat so much. I've been shaking everyone's hand. I see finest hat ever. You know Nick has the best hats. Hey, mm. I wanted to make sure that you weren't wearing a silly hat. Nah, Jimmy yeah. hat. Uh, you were wearing a Jimmy hat. Yeah, you can't be wearing that. You wearing a condom on your head? You just fucking look like a psychopath. <laughs> we got a uh, melon head with 25. Charles smoking on that raw milk pen. Yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> raw milk pen? Yeah, raw milk. Yeah, I mean, cross state lines. I mean, what happens to you? Yeah, raw milk. If you don't drink raw milk, don't drink milk. That's that's all I have to say. <laughs> don't drink it if it's not raw. If we it's got, got bluey past there in it, you might as well be fucking yeah, piss your pants. hell right now. <laughs> yeah, he burns it hell. We got Amber Brack with the 20. I've been an unpaid intern for a comedian for over five months without an end date. Uh, he's in movies and comedy store regular. Uh, I edit, caption... Uh, and do the podcast daily. How do I say? How do I say I want to keep working with him, but I need to make that coin. Oh, free work. Um, tell him that. Uh, do, tell him that. Uh, Michael Richards doesn't write his own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no. You didn't write the pitchfork joke. Yeah, no. I, 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 I remember I was at the. the I think I was at the so Starbucks and he was coming up with the, the pitchfork joke. You heard him working on it? Yeah, I heard him working on it. Yeah, he was walking around. <laughs> He's working on it? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but if, is it Michael Richards? Is that what he said? Oh, no. I was no, just, no. He uh, just said a, somebody that is a regular at the comedy store and does a podcast. Hey, uh, the dudes who make content for us get paid. It's that simple. I mean, we're, mm. we're losers. We're nobody. Everybody who works for us gets a paycheck. That's that simple. Mm. No one's, you know what I mean? No I one's. Tesla. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fucking hey. Chris just fucking cashed out. What ca- I mean, the, you can't do that. And I'm a, I'm a nobody. If that guy's been in movies, like, what do you want to feel like a loser? You have nobody's paying guys. I'm a fucking. I'm working for you. You're not paying me shit. What's wrong with this guy? Yeah, I'm a fucking turd. Right? Me and Chuck are just two turds in the toilet in the middle. People of still nowhere. get paid. But everybody's getting paid. That's 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 ridiculous. That's silly. We got uh, Louis lodging with the 22 Canadian. Uh, hey Nick, bought a Volvo V70 2010. What do I need to be in the lookout for? As, uh, as in problems in the future. Uh, also, nice to see Charles. Love from Quebec. Uh, Tabin, Tabinark uh, de Crease. Tabarnak de Crease. Yes. Okay. Tabar- Muzi Tabarnak. Muzi. What does that mean? It's honest. It means it's like my father says it all times Canadian. He like yells it. But yeah, Volvo uh, V70 2010. Uh, well, uh, tell me about water pump. Front of the motor comes off, I think. It's got what, a T5? Fuck. Is that a wagon? A wagon, yeah. V7, uh, a nice rig. Um, I don't know. Uh, water pump, uh, top end. I think it's got a tie. I think, what's the? I don't. It's a five cylinder motor. I'm actually I'm really green on Volvo maintenance, man. Um, but I, I can guarantee you your major mile services at around 90 or 110, 120 are going to require one job that costs you about 2,500 bucks. Do it and just keep driving the thing. The Volvo product's pretty good. I didn't think they lost their way at that point. Uh, we, get, we had dad with 25, press the like button. You press the like button. Hey, please, if, when YouTube knows that you press the like button, they send emails to the Chris. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I got tons. Oh, yeah, hit him. Just hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Okay. Uh, we got... We got TBMNKY with 25. What's the deal with nonprofits? I rented a room from an obese homosexual who woke up at 10.30 a.m., worked for less than 40 hours a week, took one week of every six months, and lived off six figures. Would like to hear from both. What? Yeah, nonprofits. What's the deal with nonprofits? Nonprofits, mo- modern philanthropy is a fucking toilet. I mean, philanthropy is no good, right, Chuck? Uh, no. No, I mean, I just, uh, they just, they just, the money is income for the, for the officers. Really? It means nothing. It's absolutely useless. I think Salvation Army takes the lowest cut. Like, I think that's the best one. Yes, it, Saver, the Savers CEO is like this. I'll make what I want. Now get the fuck up. It's a for profit. You know what I mean? Like, 
they're giving it to it so they can sell for a profit? Are you crazy? They're burning this shit. <laughs> crazy. Now, modern philanthropy is a fucking toilet. Uh, everybody who works in it. Insurance and philanthropy are the new fucking uh, ambulance. It's the new ambulance chaser, man. It's hell on earth. Uh, we got Joe Collins with the 25. Nick, any good car sales courses? Um... Andy Elliott looks like a total right uh, roid head scammer. Dude, you don't need cart. Yeah, go ahead. yeah. I've been on the I've been on the floor for three weeks, and we're get, giving new cars away with no profit. I see guys sell five a day, and I'm struggling to find what works. All right, dude. You're if you're working at all right. So this is called that's called a whorehouse. All right, listen to me. You don't need fucking sales. You need to understand the dynamic of what you're selling. If you working in a whorehouse right now, you tell the customer you work in a whorehouse. You say, my manager is gonna give you a fucking car. If you let customers leave, you should be closing at 100% closing ratio. If someone came there to buy, they didn't come there to buy fucking lollipops, you wear them down and you sell as many cars. You figure, it is a simple machine. And you're not fucking anybody. When you are in a place where your manager's a dipshit and he doesn't wanna hold any profit, good. You know what you do? You exploit it. You sell, you figure out the game, and you figure out the way they do it as fast as possible. Watch the guy who's doing five. He's he's saying something into the parking lot on the test drive to him. He's like, listen, here's the deal. We're going to go inside. I'm going to fight for you a little while. My manager's going to give it away. He needs to move units. It's a perfect time to buy a car. COVID fucked us over. We're paying 5000 over a sticker. Now we're doing 3000 off. That's $10,000 the other way. You got to take it right now. There's four cars in the lot. Understand your inventory and sell them the good ones. Pick out the good ones for your customers. That's your edge. We got OBS construction with the 50 bills. Yo! Love Nick, love you Nick and Chuck. What does John Taffer think about uh, ancient civilizations that were actually in America? Is that a concept he can sink his teeth into? I've been thinking about this with Chuck. I've been talking to him. A lot of the biblical references are from, a lot of people are saying some of the biblical references are right here in the US of A. Next to some of the places that I looked at, Reminds me of a place. There was a place in Utah, bought Bill's Baker's Fishery. Place, they had a good clam cake program, rainbow trout, fresh fish. They kept the people in the seats. It was a good bar. I put an orange door sound system in there. And not two miles away was, what's Utah called? Uh, Judah. Judah! Yeah. I called it Judah's place. I had no idea. I mean, someone hit me up in chat. It was Ochi. Ochi Ang. He was like, yeah, it's like Utah's related to... You, you, I mean, I, I could. What other, what other, what other, what other kind of biblical places mind. are in the United States? You know, everything. The rivers, right? It was something about the rivers. It's all. It's mi Mississippi. You know, it's 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 the um, Egyptian artifacts found in the Grand Canyon, which is systematically collected and destroyed by the Smithsonian. So they sweep out history, war. <coughs> it's the same thing. It's like a it's like a mini war. War <coughs> is used to sweep history from the past away. It's pretty much what it's there. Used for. as a tool. Yeah. They're using. Some of these Lockheed Martin companies are using war as a tool to erase history for it's thousands weird. of years! It's weird how that works out. Oh, I thought all oh, these nations, they can't get along together. Oh, that's why they war with each other. Oh, really? It's how it works out? Oh, it's not to just erase history? Oh, really? <coughs> we got Complex with the 25. Nick, what do you think about uh, EcoGas Ford Mavericks? Not that expensive hybrid crap. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's the move. Those small motor Mavericks are going to be a tough sell. Mavericks are going to be flooded. Just what I love the Maverick. I think it's a good looking car, good aesthetic, good function. Ford really hit the nail on the head with the car. Um, I wouldn't be buying the small motor, unproven motor units. I'd be buying the proven motor units. Cars that have been making the motor years. Mm. They start coming in with new motors. You buy it right away. You're a fucking idiot. New motors. Like, you know, new engines. Mm -hmm. When The companies that work like, you know, two liter engine platforms, they'll use it for years and years and years. You want to find them when they make the engine. You know what I mean? 2.5 liter, 2 liter. It's like you want to go with their trusted engine choice, not the new experimental unit they fucking get forced to do mm. to make to make uh, gas emissions to get oh. lending for two, point, two points cheaper. Yeah. I see. They could run an engine on freaking water, but you're paying for gas for your whole life. Yeah, there's, like, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 it's gas. Yeah. It's made from dinosaur fuel. You could fuel. pour your own piss here in it. You could run the car for 40,000 miles, so you're going to pay for gas your whole life. Dino juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got uh, Andrew Belson with 20. Charles, two-thirds of the best comedy I've ever seen. Charles, you're a beautiful soul. Smart behind comprehension, brilliant beyond the norm. So great to see you. Nick, you're doing God's work. Just love you guys so much. <coughs> thank you. Thank Yo, you. Thank you, man. Thanks so much for Oh, that. I found that. <coughs> you dropped this. <laughs> you dropped that on my foot. Uh, okay. Uh, Ricky Retardo with 25. Nick, wow. do you receive fan mail that will fit in your grinder? Ooh. Yep. You grind your mail. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Um, the ass of Bolam sent thirty bucks. You guys are the best. Thanks for doing this. MD never dies. Fuck yeah. Yo, thank Absolutely. you, dude. Thank you. Um, oh, water car pilled. Oh, we're uh, watermelon. Uh, we got Gang Zulu Evil Wizard with the fifty. Hey, Crickles, short for Chris, Nick, and Charles. I like that. Do you think truck drivers should be able to smoke weed? Yes. I got to do acid on my weekends now because there's a potential for me to get randomly tested for weed. Oh. Buy your daughter something nice, Nikki. <coughs> hey, I appreciate you buy by the ninos or something. It's very good for you. Um, I don't know, man. I'd eat edibles. If I if I was a driver, I would just eat edibles. <laughs> if I, that would be my weed administration. Edibles are superior. Yeah, they are. But if they test for it, though, like what are you, you supposed fucked. to do? Fake pee. The guy that's giving you the you test fake for pee. It, Go get fake pee at drug shops. It works. I did it for my job. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Right through. I pissed in a fucking laptop too. You pissed on a laptop. The thing, for a the, test? the thing that I had to piss into. I was like, I'm getting busted. I get ready for me now. <laughs> when I got my Mercedes job, I pissed into a fucking like a like it looked like a computer that I was pissing <laughs> yeah. into. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, I'm getting busted. It was straight up fake piss. I was sweating. And they're like, so you got the job. I was like, it's cool. Three years, I'm smoking weed every day. <laughs> I'm like, it's cool. Thanks. We got a You're driving a truck for Mercedes. Mm. I'm renting the trucks. I'm only driving big rigs. Every chance I get, we don't even sell them. We get three more and we're caught up. Uh, Born, uh, Bornsmouth, Barnesman with 25. I'm in love with wagons, but currently don't have the cash to buy new. Do you know of any good years for Volvo or other makes for a reliable wagon and roundabout prices? Thank, <coughs> you from, thank you from the George Bush Center for Intelligence. Yes, yes, thank you. Good wagons. Um, 2011, they're pricey. 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 e Mercedes E wagons. Big maintenance bills, though, just adds up. Um, the Volvo is the S the V70 wagon, the 98 98 V70 wagons are kind of dope. They're growing on me. The guy in the studio on the side of us has two matching gro dope green V dub V70 wagons. Um, uh, the Buick Roadmaster, 96 Buick. Uh, that'd be cool. I love what do you Buick. say? Buick, Buicks, Buicks are the care. best. I no, no, the 3800 Buicks. Buicks are the best. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the uh, they call those uh, the, the motor the motor the, the Buick you had. Yep. You're driving forever. I, I love it. Buick's a brick shit house. Buick wagons, try it. Mid 90s, I know. N mid to late 90s, go for it. Not crazy. Not all wheel drive, though. We got Marty McFly with the 50 bones. Uh, I work at. Oh, TSX wagon. I'm sorry. TSX wagon. What the fuck am I saying? Acura TSX. Oh, uh, 8, 9, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. TSX wagon. Best wagon in the world. I, I buy them for friends. Hmm. Uh, we got Mario McFly with, money, with, with the uh, 50 bucks. Uh, I work at Sea slash Merchant Navy and have decided to stop. I'm only really qualified for maritime related work, but want to consider anything, uh, including hands on work. Nick, any advice for a new career for a 26 year old? Well, love for the love from the Emerald Isle. First of all, if you're familiar with maritime law, then you can bypass a speeding ticket. You can just say you can just tell the cop that you're not driving. You're not operating a motor vehicle. You're just traveling. For starters, you just do that. <laughs> You're a sovereign citizen. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Oh, nice. I don't even know what any of that is. <laughs> you're, off not. You're, not, you're not driving, you're traveling. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. It's All different. Right. Traveling is different than operating a motor vehicle because you're free to travel however way you want. But if you define it as operating a motor vehicle, then you can be regulated and fined and, and like you. It's, is, this, it's, is this like an out the window uh, this traffic stop? This is one of those things. Like your mail comes in, it's all in capital letters. It means that you're a corporation. Like it's it's a hard it's a hardcore maritime law and admiralty law is, is the most hardcore out of all the prison system. The conspiracy. Ep Epstein loved maritime it's, law, right? Oh, I'm sure. I'm he was sure. so good at it. Those guys, psychotic. Mm, Bill Cosby. And Bill Cosby, you're gonna need two dicks. <laughs> there, his advice to Kevin Hart. What are you talking about, cop? I'm just fucking chilling. Five point. Uh, okay, you got, uh, you got two one. more. Uh, last one. Dylan Adams with the thirty-seven. Chris, do you like Morbid Angel? No. Uh, Nick and Charles, you're the men. I don't like Morbid Angel. Thank you. Thanks. 4193 Morton Street, Stockbridge, Michigan, 259.9. For sale, three bedroom, two bath. Um, it's in Michigan. I kind of like it. All right, so it's, a big, it's got a big deer hunting setup. It's a ranch. It's got an above ground pool. It's 259 and it's big. 2,200 square feet. This looks like a good time house. Um, this looks like a house where a lot of good times are about oh, to happen. It does look like good times are born. In the yeah. Sheets, in between the sheets in that place. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, the finished basement bathroom is a freebie. The okay, you got a deer hunting. Uh, the buck shit. They're like this. I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> I'll fuck you, Charles. You I know your name, Charles Carroll. <laughs> He's spelling your name C A R R. He's running at you. Uh, He's calling the cops on me when he knows I'm drinking and driving. <laughs> 
he's doxing you to fucking people you know. He's writing fake emails that say fuck you to fucking people you care <laughs> fuck about. You. Yeah, hey, it's me, Charles. <laughs> fuck you. It's the deer. Uh, two fifty nine. Uh, yeah, five three acres. Let's see what uh old Buck Hunter bought it for. I don't think a lot. I I don't care. Uh, one thirty one and sixteen two fifty nine. Yeah, 225, but a uh, pretty good piece of property. Uh, finished the basement. He probably put something in it. I'm not saying I love the uh, the improvements that they did to the finished basement, but it's got an in-law. It's got a, a high livability for it. Um, pretty pretty nice piece of property. I don't think you'd be that fucked with it, to be, if I'm being fair. Um, I'm not as excited about deer hunting. I have deer all over. I was actually taking my morning shit this morning with my downstairs bathroom open. I have deer right in my fucking face. Really? Yeah, I can see You can make jerky out of them. Yeah, no, I know. I, I, I'm... <clears throat> Fuck the maggots in the ticks. Just make jerky out of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. Just get the ticks up. We'll just scrape the ticks up. 445 South Franklin Street, Tulin, Toulon, Illinois. 675 down on down 25,000. Someone wants to get rid of the house. Um, What's with the colors on it? It's milk core. Is this like Photoshop? It's hot What's slut. What's with the colors? No, nah, this is a hot oh, slut house. slut house. Yeah. Ah, it's, yeah. Like, it's milk core. This is a Sandy Brown hair... 57 year old exercise uh, exerciser. That's kind of fun. Yeah, she's that looks fun. That really fun. Oh, a little pantry. I like the uh, the pantry. I like I like pantry kitchens with the, the coffee center built in. Any sexy it's a nice touch. lying around? Yeah. yeah. We'll go up to the bedroom. There's, there's going to be something sexy in this house. <laughs> no, Watch. Okay. You mark my words. There'll be something. <laughs> well, I believe Don't it. you worry. There'll be something a little sexy in here. How about a bathroom? Is it sexy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do they have a radium fireplace in there or what? The, they'll do a fainting couch outside the bedroom so you fucking pass out after you're done fucking. Oh, wow. Wow, it's actually this is Dilfcore. The guy's got so many. He's got new tags. He's got brand new. He's so rich. He's got houses with new. new the guy clothes. doesn't even take his take his tags off his clothes. He hasn't even worn it yet. Come on, show me something sexy. Even though the exposing the uh, this is a little weird. What no door in this closet. Like, why wouldn't we pull this closet door? Why are we showing these people's uh, toiletries? Very strange. Yeah, toiletry uh, uh, exhibition is yeah, really that's odd. strange. You might as well have your toilet seat up with shit flowing. Out. <laughs> Like, uh, you have a $675,000. Is this $675,000? This is actually not bad. Um, the build quality is not... What's this? Oh, what's, uh, what's what this? is that? A, a chapel? Yeah, this is a... I'll tell you, what do they call those things? A chapel? Yeah. <laughs> what, is that a loft? What, no, what do they call the, the church windows? The power cells in the church windows? Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the a chapel. What fuck is this? They, they started putting lead in glass paint. Uh, I mean, the, the stained glass, too, to, the? to negate the energy with cathedrals anyway. what the fuck is this this is the stupidest thing I think I've ever seen John wait a minute hold on I knew I've been here before <coughs> you been this here? is my sister's house Jane's stupid Jane did her she sent me a picture of this she said she wanted to do some um, gold lightning bolts on the kitchen cabinets in the basement bar and I said, Jane, that sounds like a fucking brilliant idea. Send me pictures of it when it's done. It sounds awesome. Love, Brother John. Um, what the fuck is that? You, what are you, psychotic? The, and then this, this like faux brick wall, faux, uh, faux like metal wall. No, it's like being at Uno's, having a deep dish. Yeah, it is, it is like Uno's. Yeah. Um, something wild going on down here. I don't feel comfortable. A bit of a uh, Planet Fitness uh, franchising. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I feel comfortable with this house. I mean, you might have to get free pizza at a gym. <laughs> <laughs> you might be so happy. The uh, landscaping is a, uh, that's, that's a, that's a cheap way to do that. It's a weird ceremonial style walkout to a koi pond, which is just strange. Hmm. Damn near indoor furniture, outdoor, which is again strange. You got you got a couch outside. You you have a six hundred seventy. But um, the the build quality of the house is good, though. I will say that. So that has nothing. Oh wow, outdoor gardens, food gardens, nice. They're, they're Fenced in. A, yeah, they're all hydro. They're just growing straight. Dr. Dre's there. Tech nine. <laughs> yeah, he's kissing. <laughs> he's fucking. Tupac said about him, right? Yeah. yeah oh yeah, Dr. Dre. He's, he's, know. Yeah, he's, he's 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 married to something. He's something. He's something. He's that that lifestyle. Yeah, he's different. Uh, Six seventy five. It's not bad. One hundred and thirty five bucks a foot. I bet you it doesn't comp out. Is the reason why they're What's like, that? they're kind of low. Meaning that, that, that you can sell the house for six seventy five because of the market. Doesn't mean your neighbor's house is going to sell for that. So you, sometimes a bank will be like, simply put, your house isn't worth six seventy five. So even if you can sell it for it, I'm not going to put a mortgage on it. So unless the people want to pay cash for it at that price, hmm. I'm not going to stand behind it from a, from a lending standpoint. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like so, that happens sometimes. Like when when overpriced markets like this, like people are selling the house for crazy money, <laughs> but they're trying to buy it in a very conventional way. They're like, I like this house. It's one point two million. They're like, well, that's great. The house is fucking worth nine hundred grand. So now what? Do you have the fucking three hundred thousand to make up the difference and the discrepancy between what you think is worth and what I do? 
I'm the bank. No. Yeah, and they're like, no, okay, so why don't you just look at something different? <laughs> they're like, okay, it's fine. Why don't you look at something different then? Why don't you just come to this bathhouse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you take it easy? Why don't you meet me at the bathhouse? <laughs> Uh, six. I think they're down on their luck on this house. Um, they're ready to take a kick in the fucking sack. I'll just be honest with you. The, the build, the, the house, the house. It's pretty good. It's not. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's not good, but it's it's not bad. Um, make a bad offer. I don't. I don't hate the house. What's a bad offer? Like two hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. You take two hundred right now. You get shot in the head. Eighty grand cash. <laughs> Someone's blowing your head off in the seat of your car. They're like, no, no, no. You have your head blown off as you're talking to them. <laughs> you put an office out that is so insulting, there's nothing else they'll do but kill you. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's nothing else I could do. I have to kill you for that offer. I gotta kill myself. After. Yeah. I could tell you, but then you'd have to kill me. Uh, you got it, Chris. Jumping back in. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take it quickly. Oh, yeah. good. I'll be ready. Good, All right. good. All right, it was good, good driveway. <laughs> we got a. Uh, Frederick, uh, with the 50 bills, philanthropy is basically part of the financial services industry. I now. thought you were pissing out the window. I, 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 no. um, uh, philanthropy is basically part of the financial services industry now, especially in America. Financial services in quotations. What's that like? Uh, sex? Uh, I don't. I don't know. But he, I guess he's chiming on what you're talking about earlier about philanthropy. Oh yeah. yeah, it's a big organization. A lot of officers in there. A lot of big salaries. I mean, if it's just me, it's not advice, but giving to charity. I mean, you'd have to be a fool to do that. No, well, straight up. But if if you're if you're looking for some sort of a tax relief, uh, then you know you'd be do, you'd be pretty smart to do something like that if you needed to. But just straight up out of the goodness of your own heart, I think you'd be just better off giving someone the cash in their pockets and say, hey, do it. Buy sex with this. If you, I mean, I don't know. Like, giving to charity is absolutely crazy to me. They're yeah. giving a cancer. Like, well, I'm going to give this uh, money to some cancer foundation. Yeah. It's been 70 years of, of uh, fundraising. So what happens? What now? Oh, well, you see, well, after all this uh, cancer research for the last 50, 60 years, well, your lifespan's been reduced by 20 years. And in three, four, five years, women, uh, well, they've, well, they've voted themselves into extinction. They won't even be able to have children anymore. So well, I'm glad we took all your money for all that charity. Well, you're going extinct anyway. <laughs> go, you give to charity, you're crazy. Yeah, keep your money. We got uh, Joe Finch with the 25. <laughs> Same. Uh, hey boys, love the stream. My neighbor smokes smelly butt fart weed 24/7 and hack that word. Mm. <laughs> and hacks up along the whole time. How do I stop myself from cracking him over the head with a cinder block? Move. Just move. Hmm. Um, oh, sorry. Um, I have one of the smokes. Is it a swish of sweet? Is it wine? Yeah, tip? maybe you can start smoking. Wood maybe tip. You can, yeah. <laughs> Wing tip. <laughs> yeah, smoke That's a wood, wood tip. tip. Why don't you pull like, a mushroom cap, put it in his mouth, <laughs> and get him to smoke something else? Maybe a dick, skin cigar. <laughs> taking a lot of liberty. So it stink like that. Um, uh, we got Joshua Detar gifted twenty memberships. Whoa. Whoa! Yo, you're you crazy! Mean? Buying all the memo gym forever, for the Z forever, for this. Oh man, <laughs> that's crazy. yeah, that's great. I would fucking pass wow. out. That's um, fucking funny. We get home buyer seven <laughs> twenty five bills. I bought a house. Looks like John Stupid's uh, relative decided to install an unsealed window in my garage to ensure there's water leakage. Ah, they, they also ensuring water leakage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they also made sure to use in indoor only trim outside to decorate the window frame. Ah, is that like corner bead? Yeah, it's, yeah no, yes, it's kind of like yeah, 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 yeah no, yeah, it's it's like a. Yeah, like that trim, like a one by four primed pine, yep. or uh, you know, one by trim, just whatever, like flat stock trim outside. <coughs> wow! It's just, it, it, it's just like now, now your whole life. So you have when you have boneheads all like that, you spend your whole life. If you don't pick out a house where you can't find one mousy shit job, you spend your rest of your life untangling knots. Not. Yeah, you're undoing you that. Yeah, you don't want knots. You don't want to tie shoelaces together. Uh, we got, we got Timmy Baghead with the twenty. Back in the saddle, and it never felt so right. Jaw bless. Nice. Yo, nice. jaw. Hell yes. Jaw. Jaw ja, ja, <laughs> We got Nathan Sterling with the 25. Uh, wagons tip, tickle my nips. Lexus had it with the IS300 Sport Cross. Yeah, it was a good car. That one's got a nipple tickler in it? Yeah, this one has a little... You can touch this one. Oh, my God. Uh, Charles, do you like the Mars Volta? Hey. Uh, <coughs> hey. Uh, you know... 
I, I, I'll listen, and I have listened. Only the first album they put out. Um, I'm, I've never been the biggest fan. <coughs> I like Jim Ward. I like Sparta. I like At The Drive-In. Uh, without him, it's not really the same. It's kind of... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. He was a, those guys are spending $40,000 a month on weed. Okay. Um, their first drummer was the best in history. The guy was absolutely unbelievable. There was something with one of their albums where one guy was using a Ouija board or something to write the album. They ended up dying or killing himself after. There was something like that involved, and I was like, oh, man. I was like, what's this? Oh, I was no. Like, oh, I'm listening to music. It's about, I, I don't know. But the first album... Was, <laughs> those guys are crazy. This casting spells on you? This, I mean, especially the drums. It, it's Yeah, you don't. You never know. With pop music, you listen to it. There's a spell been, being put on you. You don't know it. You know right, what I'm could be it's, underneath. It's, it's, it makes you unclean, but it's too twisted to think about. But I mean, I like Mars Volta, the first drummer. But the rest of the albums, I, I never listened to them. I, uh, I, used, to put on I used to put on Tarantulism because it was a nine minute song on the jukebox. Oh, oh yeah, 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 at the pool hall. I get that. That's a nice move. I used yeah, to put on that one and uh, Cherry Waves by Deftones all the time. That was my back to back. That's a nice one. You put mm. on some big long, you take it long. We got Andrew Belson with 20. <laughs> I, I used Belson. Uh, we got a uh, 20 bucks for him. I, I have used fake piss to get a job. Quick fix plus urea equals done job. Urea, I guess that's like what? The yeah, they, they put fake piss. They put in hand lotion. Urea is a, uh, an ingredient from hand lotion I remember from like... They're uh, pissing on your hands? Seventh grade, yeah. No, no, they put urine in it. Yeah, they really do. I remember it was... Yeah, fake piss. I remember this guy, the uh, Indian guy. Uh, it's my best interaction ever with an Indian guy, ever. I go to get fake piss from him. He's like, dude... People come to me every day. They say they could lose everything they have for failing this test. I sell this piss every fucking day, bro. Every fucking day I sell this fucking... I have people crying to me saying they fucking lose their children and shit like this. You think I'm fucking playing games, dude? <laughs> I was like, whoa! I fucking bought the piss. I fail. I want it. I should have. I, I, I owe that guy an edible arrangement. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Fucking non nanas, man. That was fucking piss awesome. Games? Yeah, piss games? Oh, yeah, dude. You ever fail a piss I test at work? It's fucking games. embarrassing. Uh, again, love you guys. Nick, any insight on investing with IRAs and money market accounts? Saved a lot and want to make a good first. I'm, and want to make good with it. Uh, first car was a 94 Buick Lesabri? Lesabre. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Lesabri yeah. is a Lesabri. good, that's a good take. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, me John either. Claude, uh, Vin de, yeah, yeah, like Jean, Jean Clay or Devine Deem or something. Yeah, that was fucking great. Um, I, I don't, I don't fuck with IRAs and four hundred one ks. Um, you can max a Roth if you feel like it. If you feel like doing like a what sixty seven fifty on a max Roth, if you feel like it. I just always used every dollar I had. I never really had the savings to make a market number ever go up. I, you know, I put, I've gotten like thirty or forty in a four hundred one k over. I just don't like invest. It's fucking boring. I always end up like. Not giving a fuck about it. Um, putting your money in a boat and kicking it 30 years away from you. With, dead by the time. It, oh, it doubles the triples. I, I get it. I should. I, I, I just never made enough to like sort of make a, a, a huge move. If you're, a, if you're a mover and a shaker, you'll need the money. If you're not and you're a steady planner, then, and then go from say, some safe stuff. But um, I, like I said, I've always been kind of just a, a merchant man, like hustling every fucking uh, buying. I just don't save. I, 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 like to, I like hustling better. We got Squirt King with the 25. It's not for everybody. I'm not saying it's for everybody. Sorry. Uh, Squirt King with 25. Nick, please do an impression of John Stupid, who's been landscaping at Little St. James Island, who suddenly figures out what's really going on. Really going on. I know what's going on in here. It's a vacation spot for celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> who's, all... the, who's the water bearer for, this, uh, for tonight? They want me to polish the owl again. <laughs> they want me to polish the owl on the corner of the place, the corner of the little black, blue and white striped part. After I'm done here, they want me to work on the set for Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> they want to go do Ellen's set, which is really cool. Ellen does the dances. It's, it's kind of similar to this set right here, the building you see on the side. A. What? Blue and white stripes look cool. I don't get it. What's the big deal? What are all these tinfoil hat freaks talking about? Blue and white wide whale stripes look cool, period. That's a John Stupid signature. Might be a stupid idea. Sometimes a stupid idea is a safe one. Uh, we got uh, Laticrete Hydro Band with 25. What's up, gentlemen? Love the stream. Nick, I'm looking at an 09 S80 3.2 with 91K listed for 9,800. No. Pass. Yo, completely pass. The, uh, the S80s are trash. S80s are garbage cars. Uh, we got... Uh, Nightmares. Every mechanic fucking hates them. Don't touch S80s. Please, God. Please, God. What the fuck's with all the Volvo questions tonight? Guys, Acura, not Volvo. Acura. They make wagons? 
Uh, no, S80 is a fucking sedan, like a boss sedan. Uh, we it sucks. It's the low. It's the lowest in grade. It was the last in its class. It was like a Cadillac. No one wants it. It was a piece of shit. We got Ochiang with the 25. Unfortunately, Aww. can't watch this live, but excited to watch this later. You guys rule. Thanks. Yo, thank you. What's up, player? How you doing? Yeah. He was the one I was telling you about Utah and Judah. Really? That was yeah. Oh no shit. shit. Yeah, I was like, what? I don't. I mean, I knew. I figured because of the the Grand Canyon and you know all that yeah, stuff. You're finding Egyptian. You're finding hieroglyphs. I didn't something. start thinking about like syllables and words and you know, and all that stuff. I was like, oh my god, I was like, this is crazy. He's playing a harp. We got a Tim. Tim. Tim, Tim with changing the, the weather. <laughs> Tim with the Tim with the twenty. Hey Nick, Charles, and Chris. My back hurts and my daughter is sick, so we're watching this in a hospital bed. Oh, is that bad? Jeez, man. Well, shout out. Let's, well, hey, let's hope. Is that, is that it? That's it. Oh, that man. Is. Well, let's hope. Speedy recoveries, my man. Yeah. I appreciate you, and I love you. 50 Gs a C. I'm sending you love right now. Look, at, I'm doing it. I swear this is a real thing now. You can send love. I swear. It's, I'm, I'm sending it. I yeah. learned it from a hippie lady, but uh, I love you, buddy, and I'm glad you're watching. I'm, uh, let's, 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 hey, we're going to find it. We're going to buy a little pony. I'm going to buy you a pony. That's what this person thought. I'm going to jump into this house real quick because it taught me about yeah. buying a <laughs> um, my my parents went through a horse phase ten years ago, and they still think that I would want a horse. I can't believe. I'd it. rather shoot. I'd rather I'd rather knock a horse's fucking teeth out. I'd rather be bit. Mr. Hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd I'd rather fucking I'd rather fight a horse with a truck. Like it, that it's a boxing ring with a horse, but I'm in a truck. <laughs> yeah. Screaming. I'm just hitting. I'm like running it over. Um, just never. Scaring the shit out of it as blows. Not even punching. Just scaring it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I hate horses. They're so fucking dangerous. All I, th I, I, all I, I think, kill you just like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, you're instantly Chris Reeves, and they're like, "This maybe people are like this, but the safety of your children." I put them on horses, and like, there's nothing like an you animal. You can't even shoot the thing in the brain before you die. You get kicked in the you Pro get kicked in the head yourself. Probably right. Be writing emails in your living room with a, with a head wound. <laughs> The horse is like, shoot me in the fucking head. Watch this, asshole. His hooves are typing on your laptop. I'll put him in one of those chairs that Stephen Hawking's in. I'll get a horse in one of those things. <laughs> it's writing a fucking... Uh, I'll kick the thing in the brain and put one of the, that thing in that chair. God damn <laughs> This it. guy loves horses. He's like, this is a bucking Bronco house. Um, I absolutely hate it. Um, it's completely horse-based. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't love it at all. I'm trying to find uh, one second value, but get this horse shit out of here. Uh, it's a Unilock, uh, stamped concrete and Unilock rat ass driveway. The whole thing's the skin tone, a uh, skin tone skin milf. Skin king. Yeah, skin, skin king milf core house with a crushed stone. Uh, the, the house is a complete rat. The view is beautiful. The deck oh, is nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like something out of freaking. I'm like a James Dean movie. Yeah, like but the, the oil one, you know? The house is a teardown, though, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, I don't care what it's sold for. I, I hate horse properties. I do like the Morton Barn. I do like the property. But um, something about too much crushed stone, too much uh, cheap cheap finishing. I got to read this yeah, hundo. Yeah, you go ahead. Uh, we got oh, J shit. We got J-Man with the hundo. Uh, as a country boy, I don't know how y'all Yankees do it up in the big cities like Providence. But down here, we call roadkill dinner. I also sneak into my neighbor's pasture and drink straight from that cow udder, unpasteurized only. He's drinking raw milk That's and he, great. Yeah, it's really great that you're drinking the raw milk, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's Ooh. great. You take it from the udder, you take it. Right. It's, it's as good a place as any. You, you, you don't drink it raw, you drink it dead. It, the thing's dead. What do you think? You, you think you're lactose intolerant? Oh, no, no. It's just there's an enzyme that was removed uh, during pasteurization that made all dairy toxic to you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh wait, no, it's your body. Your genetics is, are bad. You're just gonna die. Go to hell. Go to hell and die. Your genetics is shit. You're a loser. No, wait. Or is it the boiling of the milk that destroys the uh, the enzyme to help you digest that? Or oh, wait, is it that? No, no, you're a loser. Your genetics is shit. You should just gas yourself. <laughs> milk punch is good. Milk punch. That's a good one. Using it to clarify something. No, I don't think that's that. That, that, that can't be true, Chuck. Yeah, well, they boil it for your safety. Just like they take the lead out of the paint. I love, <laughs> I love you see me, I'm a lead kind of guy. I love lead when it's in paint. They took it out of the lead they took it out of the paint. I said, Ah I was pulling my hair out. I said, It's over, it's over, it's over. You know, it took so long for everyone to catch up. It's so fucking funny. Uh fuck. Um Do you need one? I mean I got more, but if, if you if right, I can uh, I can I can log them in and then uh, if you want to keep the hidden houses. I'll, get, I'll just go ahead and hit this one. This is, uh, we're gonna hit, we're gonna keep, we're gonna break. This is fun. We're just gonna keep from fifty seven twenty Barbary Lane, Portsmouth, Virginia, two ninety nine. Looks like it's a sun. It's looks like it's in a little bit of a, an aquatic community. Does it have a sauna? It does. 
<laughs> this one has a fucking infrared. Wow, look at, where, where are we? Oh, that's a nice little port. I like that. What is that? It's in Cape Charles. Oh, oh right across the Newport News. I like that. Okay. That's kind of nice. It looks, it looks like an interesting part of Virginia. 299, five bed, two nine, I mean, sprawling brick executive, uh, sprawling brick ranch. Um, step down sunken living room or den. Uh, I like the layout of the house. Formal dining room. It's a little useless of a room nowadays. Oh. Don't touch the bathrooms. Do, do. What's with the shining me cooler? Where's that? This one? It's all white. It was like all. Oh yeah, it's always it's always bright. Yeah, it's, I like that. Yeah, oh it's, yeah. It's like from a horror movie a little bit. <laughs> uh, nice piece. First time to market. Sixties ranch. It's probably gonna have a finished basement. Keep that chair right there. That's not a bad piece. Uh, detached two car garage with a little bit of a storage above it. Two shipping containers on the backyard. Why not? Fuck it. Keep Airbnb. it. Airbnb. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you put, you stick them in a shipping container. Yeah. Two ninety. Oh yeah. I've you live it. Yeah. I've done a shipping container. Pay, pay one eighty awesome. a night. Um, nice piece. Uh, yes. Yes. That's a that's a go. Uh, first time to market. There's not much. Come with no HOA, so you save the three hundred bucks that might oh, might have wow. been common. Hoa? No Hoa. No. Mauna Loa. <laughs> the rocks here. All right, let me hit some, uh, <laughs> some more of these. Uh, yeah. We got Humby Bumby with a 25. Nick just told my 99 Accord. Huge bummer. Uh, I'm in between a 11 or 12 TSX wagon or an 06 Lexus LS 340 or 430. Excuse yeah. Me, dyslexia. Uh, love them both almost equally. Have roughly 12.5k to spend. What do you think? Um, if you're driving more miles, eh, it doesn't really matter. Um, the gas mileage is going to be like 20, 21, 4, and, and like 16, 24 and 17. Uh, if you're driving more miles, you might want to go with the TSX. If you're fat, if you're heavier than 200 pounds, you're going to want to go with the LS. I hope that's the answer. Either way, you know, I mean, it's 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 a nice it's a nice ten thousand dollar car. Very very nice ten thousand dollar car. We got uh, Ozzy Main with twenty five. Love to see y'all. I worked in the IBEW as a ground man, helping JLs build transmission power lines and then drilling and foundations. Banked sixty eight k and got burned out working seven to tens. Mm -hmm. Not sure what to do now. Thoughts on twenty four. Take a break. Come back to it. Okay. Yeah, IBEW allows you the the uh, ability to take a break and come back to it. That's why you have a union. Use it. Take a fucking couple of months off. Come back to it. You'll be bored stiff. Hmm. I, that's unions. They, you know, like uh, my buddies who would drop it. You're like, ah, working my ass off. I'm tired. I'm burnt out. You'll find a way. They need work. We got peers. You pay them fucking money to do that. I mean, let's be honest, guys. You, all you union guys, make sure your fucking union's doing something for you, man. You know what I mean? I'm not like a I, I'm a I'm a big fan of that shit, but like work your you know your union make sure you got your ass covered. You have a good dial open dialogue with them. Don't be fucking letting them push you around. You pay them money. Let's be real about it, guys. We got peers in pontification with the fifty. Charles, uh, favorite authors? Anything you'd immediately recommend? Hey, thanks, thanks so much for that, Cormac McCarthy. I can't believe it. I mean, it had to happen at some point, but if you understand what how staggering it is to have. Uh, like a like the a greatest living author in the world it's it's crazy to have in your lifetime as you get older you really um you don't take it for granted um because everyone kind of does you, you you figure these people are going to be around forever i like cormac mccarthy um if you want to go with the crazy science fiction i like the you go with the lamb you go with the lafferty uh the the book of the new sun shadow of the torture with gene wolf i think those those really they go they go all the way they go all the way, and if you want to get really crazy, if you want to know the future, if you want to know the past, I don't know if you want to know you. C.S. Lewis is the greatest out of all of them. He's the like kind of like the last one of the last, probably the last prophet. Space trilogy will get you where you need to be, uh, and if you want to get really really crazy, if you want to do some, I don't know if you want to call it soul work. I don't know how else to put it without sounding kind of silly, but I uh, go with Charles Williams, another one of the Inklings with Tolkien and and uh, Lewis back in the day, and he he wrote some some books that. They, um, I mean, he was OTO guy, so you're gonna get heavy esoteric stuff. So I don't know if you're into that, but it's it's not gonna be like in your face. But there there are some concepts in there that um, that were uh, beneficial. Charles Williams, I don't know if I mentioned it. Uh, take go go through all of that. There's a lot. There's a and lot then if you really want to go totally ham, you read uh, Hatchet by Gary Paulson. 
<laughs> that is a good one. <laughs> and you go, uh, you go, White Sh- White Shark by Peter Benchley. White Claw by Nick Rochford. <laughs> <laughs> you well, that. Yeah, White Claw. That's my favorite. Yeah, this, uh, I wish I liked so White Claws. Things. Oh God, science fiction is so good. Uh, we got Liam O'Brien with twenty five. What up, fellows? Nick, I'm thinking about antiques because I need a side hustle. Only thing I'm good at is singing. Any tips or ideas? Uh, yeah, find find something that you like. Go, you know, hit up uh, something that's prevalent in your area. That seems to be uh, you find a common. Go, go go hunt through antique shops and savers and sort of draw some lines together. It's kind of antique collecting is like pattern recognition. You sort of just scan with your eyes at antique shops, things that are selling for high numbers that you can't believe, and then you sort of find them in the wild and you sort of put the connect the dots. That's how you do it. Um, but find something that's a little bit more prevalent in the area, and then maybe bring that that s- certain abundance to the internet. That's a it just that's kind of like the way you do it. Um, or you you collect antiques around a hobby, and you sort of like uh, vertical your hobby. You know, if you like video games, you can collect old video game sets. If you like cars, you can collect old car parts. If you like blah, blah, you know parts of you know Petroliana, et cetera, et cetera. So we get child of the corn with the twenty five. Live in a small city with lots of formerly beautiful late. 1800 early 1900 houses that have been run down by brothers co- hoarders crackheads uh, how do you know when a house is too far gone to save want to gentrify so bad um yeah when you want to gentrify one you have, you have to basically find one you can probably work with go into the local credit union they're gonna have a list of properties that are like just basically above board maybe um go to the town hall and then find out houses that aren't fucked yet you can't finance a house that's a complete train wreck you guys remember you cannot bring a bunch of car parts and call the car a jaguar race car it's just not how it works you can't trade in tires a frame wheels a fucking roof glass windows seats in a fucking shipping container and be like hey i'm here to trade in my forerunner <laughs> <laughs> you know you're like this is not how it works like that's how houses are so a bank's gonna tell you to go fuck yourself so anything that's uh so, i mean if you, you you can't you can't just fucking spend money on a piece of shit house it's just not the way it works so keep that in mind there's no way around it. But lendable, fixable houses that are cheap. You're trying to find the cheapest house that's still a bank will still fuck with you with. That's the, that's the key. If you find that, you win. We got uh, Princess Pink Socks with the 25 show feet. Feet? Oh, cool. Right. No way. Thank you. Not showing these beauties. <laughs> no way. My feet will make you want to fuck me. Uh, we got uh, Mike Oxmole with the 25 Charles. How come every poo-poo time is also pee-pee time, but not every pee-pee time is also poo-poo time? You know, I'm not sure about that, but I forgot to mention Jack Vance. If you're going for the hardcore <laughs> science fiction, uh, you cannot not mention Vance. I mean, I know there's a bunch of others, but they're all weird. Like, there's some the science fiction crowd is really twisted. Um, yeah, thanks for that. And, yeah, I mean, I hear you. Uh, we got Marco G with 25. All love to you all. Good tips for gentrifying. Found a nonprofit's report on gentrification in a historic urban community outlining lot uh, outlining which lots are doing what vacant vacant in construction etc yes good to gentrify too dangerous what area I don't know. you don't tell me um i need to know a city buddy uh, i mean knowing the, having data like that like you're hunt if you're hunting for shit like that you're 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 looking in the right spots like follow the bigger money and then just chase them People chase Whole Foods. You used to chase Home Depots. Now you chase Whole Foods. Hmm. Whole Foods makes a difference. Especially if they got the bar in it. Oh, if you got the bar in Whole Foods, I'm, I'll fucking move. You live in there. If that Glastonbury Whole Foods has a fucking bar in it, I'm buying the house tomorrow. It's that simple. It's that simple. Oh, we got uh, Br- uh, Brad with the 25. Still planning planning the uh, orange inmate t-shirt that says, I followed Nick Rochford's real estate advice, and I, all I got was this lousy elderly abuse charge on the back. <laughs> but I can't find a site with storefront that doesn't, that does bright orange. Right. And I just want to, just a tip. If you're ever going to clock an old lady for being mouthy to you, you just make sure you hit her as hard as you fucking can. I'm really trying to, I'm talking when you throw that right cross, make sure you try to snap that forehead. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm saying. Because if they don't, you'll be screwed. She'll spray you with perfume. and then Those you'll be... can't sue you. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. you got to go through the Chinese rule. You know what I mean? you got to kill them after you hit them. <laughs> you got a couple more. Otherwise, they like, you like owe them your life. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. We got Homebuyer 7 with the 25. Uh, I saw on Craigslist a 2006 Titan SE Crew Cab. 220K miles, uh, four-wheel drive. Price is 3400 with a clean title. I don't work in the trades, but also... 
uh, but always wanted to have a truck. Would you consider this a buy or a pass? I fucking hate the Titan, man. I got to be straight with you. Um, they run real rough when they run rough. Um, a high mileage Nissan fucking starts to dismantle. Just throwing it out there. I mean, the fucking the rear end starts to fucking make noises. The shock towers are all rotted out. Nissan historically has been a, a pretty rough go by way of a Japanese automaker as far as the high mileage versions of it. I'd rather see in a T100 or a Tundra earlier. That simple. Well, Nissan's just kind of rough. 3400 is not a bad price for the truck, but drive it. If it doesn't creak, crick, if it was well taken care of, you could have, you know, the cars do make it through the gauntlet, but I don't know. Uh, Ch we got Andrew Belson with 20. Charles, any drummer recommendation? Who's your favorite drummer? Su uh, Superior drummer Roland KVX17 is my go to. Just bought a. Nice. There's a couple questions, but I'll, I'll go. But any drummer recommendation? Yeah, that's nice. Drummer. I mean, look, uh, we all like Tool. We all like 311. I mean, I hear that, but Our Lady Peace doesn't get a lot uh, of attention. Jeremy Taggart, I think he's, he's uh, made some really supreme choices with his drumming. Um, in the earlier, well, not earlier years, he's not like he was around the later ones. Um, that I I like Our Lady Peace. I like old Jeremy, old Jerry, from there. He's um, he's really he's when I want to get wild, when I want to strip down. It depends what kind of a drummer you are. It depends how you think. If you th if you think in direction, if you think in patterns, if you think in shapes, if uh, it depends how you kind of are, but. I like dis like very distinct decisions when it comes to drums, and he's he's made some ones that I like the most. And when it comes to stripping things down or putting complication in stripped down patterns, I don't know. I just really I really like his drumming. I, I do. I really do. Nice. Try that out. Um, nice. Uh, and he also asked, just bought a 2014 Mazda 6 a GT off insurance money after getting rear-ended in my 2014 Civic. Should I sell it? T-boned. Uh, no, I mean it's not the, the GT. It tells me that you have a high opinion of it. It's it's just, it's a fucking Chevy Malibu, um, or it's a Ford Fusion. It's not a special car that Mazda made uh, by the six, but um, I, I like Civic. I like, I like the Honda product in that in that era. Civic, they still make those. Oh, Civics are the fucking best. I haven't heard that. Really? I haven't heard anyone say that. And no, oh, Civics are the shit. I just, I just haven't heard anyone say the word Civic in so many years. Um, Barbados with 25. Had a pregnant deer give birth on my property and ate all my lupines. Oh. She had the baby, also had diarrhea. Pure water. Oh, pure oh cool. She, moreover, she ate your fucking lupine. Fucking deer eat my lupine. I have a lupine patch in my backyard. I have a wildflower patch. I catch a deer eating lupine, I'll fucking jump on its back and stab it. I'll, te I'll gain its trust, fun. teach it to read. <laughs> I'll fucking feed it every day, it'll think it's his friend, then one day it shows up as a fucking 357 Magnum sticking down the barrel of a fucking bird I mean, feed. Get on the thing's back, put a gun to the thing. Yeah, right? literally, I guess you're mine, motherfucker. <laughs> you blow your own brains out to show what the gun can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking terrible. Uh, Aaron with 25, I got possessed by John Stupid, and now I want to buy a Ford Maverick. Help. No, the Mavericks are kind of dope. I get it. They're 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 cool. Uh, they're I would get I, like I said, trusted motor versions. That three cylinder motor, I don't like that. It's really slow. Um, and I don't know. I, they're okay. Uh, I'm gonna wait. They're gonna just keep your eyes on the Maverick. I know what Ford's gonna do. Ford's gonna flood the street with Mavericks because they're work, <coughs> working. Uh, anytime a car company gets like tell you like the tell you ride is instantly flooded. Maverick sort of has that same trajectory where they're gonna start to make like many many units. They're gonna make millions of units. So be careful. They're gonna fucking stuff Ford dealerships with them. Trust me. That's what happens. Car companies will stuff their inventory. And be like, you're the Ford dealer. They're like, yes, you're taking ten. And they're like, well, I don't want ten. I need like five blue ones. And they're like, you're taking ten fucking beige ones. How's that? Uh, sell them or die. Sell them or die. That's what. The, that's what. That's, that's why the car business will never not be automated. Because no matter what you say, you can tell a car company to stop uh, sending ten. Yeah, you think a computer's gonna be able to sell ten beige fucking uh, XL strippy Mavericks? Yeah, okay. Sure. Where they fucking the computers are the best salesman in the world? Right, they'd already be doing that right now. If right, they do it. you go fuck yourself. The computer's probably fucking itself in the bathroom doing coke. It's probably an AT. It looks like an ATM machine doing coke off the back Co of the toilet. Computer is being abused. It's a, it's an ATM <laughs> powered with diesel fuel. <laughs> You're looking at it. It's in the car with his boyfriend. It's getting backhanded. <laughs> it's got black eyes. It turns around looks at <laughs> The ATM looks at you all sad. It's a computer that sells cars. It's trying to outsell you. It's, it's running on diesel. <laughs> Fuck. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we got a 1998 build Victorian. We got a, someone obsessed with the Victorian Renaissance and a checkerboard and Illuminati floor in the basement. In the, no, <laughs> it's RuPaul's house. Yeah, it should work. Yeah, uh, it's got Wayne's coating. It's got uh, tan everywhere. It's just beige, oh. beige milk core, beige, uh, beige gilt. This has gilt core. Um, this house, this house sucks bad. Uh, it's overbuilt in a small area with a roof deck with all kinds of like. It's not bad. But a million nine five, you're never gonna get it. It's it's, it's uh, his estimates one point eight three nine. They built it ninety eight first time to market. I wouldn't. I'm 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 suspecting some fuckery. Someone bought this for less than that. Wait, I don't know. Okay, so they've always just been a, a, a nutty person trying to get two million dollars for a house. So I bet you the guy who built the house lives in it and just thinks it's the best thing in the world. But uh, some parts are nice and it's really just a piece of shit. Those new, people who try to uh, and it's in Rocky Point head to head with the owner when you're buying a house. Yeah, he's like this. I built builder. it. Yeah, he's like this. I built it. I'm like, well, you built something that looks like shit. So now what? Yeah, great. You're fucking every style that you put in here is 20 years old. It fucking stinks in 80, here. Eighty thousand cash. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Take it or leave it. It's uh, the money's on the table. If you want it, call me. If not, <laughs> fuck yourself. Yeah. Saratoga Springs. Build yourself a cemetery. <laughs> you can fucking dig a hole and jump in it. Uh, oh, 12 million. Ooh, nice big bastard. Whoa. Building. Oh, three. Nice. Silly house in Saratoga Springs. It's got fucking Italian eight. Ooh. Double fountains. Double Moroccan fountains. Lots of silly things going on. 12 million. Oh, look at Zillow. Zillow's fucking me. I got fucking Zillow bandwidth. This might be slow. We'll go to Realtor. Yeah, AOL. No big deal. Yeah, it's a, they got dial up. Zero. Yeah, 1.3 acre. Full stuff the acre with the full build. Um, Saratoga Springs, full man. This, house, this is obviously a billionaire's house. Couldn't re. Uh, I don't hate it. I, right off the rip, I don't hate it. This is a new build that I'm not going to hate completely. I hate this shit, but this is kind of the way you do it if you do do it in 03. I don't allow many houses that are built in 03. I, th this would have to take some silly things for me to completely get the uh, annual. Uh, they pay for it. So this part right here, this is a cool thing. This is a um, an annual arrangement area in the landscape they build they have fucking private gardeners come in and put big shows in this is a thousand bucks every year they pay a thousand bucks for the staff they come they put the hanging urns with the ferns the canna the fucking coleus the spike they put all that in just every year it's a very big uh it's a nice flex i do a little i do five uh potted uh, mag i do magnesium planters like you know four foot modern whatever and i do them every year so i I know annuals. You got uh, slut core. You got milf core here. here. Slut core. Slut core. She's getting railed on the uh, terracotta rose slut island. House. Yeah, she's getting rimmed. Uh, nice. You got fucking Da Vinci. You got what? Uh, yeah, D David painted the inside no. of this house. They, they they hired an Italian guy that they kissed in Italy. What's this murals? Yeah. Oh look. Uh, look. There's our cor there's our culprit right there. What's that? That's the culprit of this house. It's milf core. Oh. She okay. loves the dog. So her and her little doggy. Oh. Just little doggies. You got stainless uh, butler pantry kitchen, uh, f gold foil, Louis the Fourteenth, gauche ass uh, Italian eight dining room set. You got emperor, emperor chairs. You like the lamps? Uh, I don't like anything in this house. This fucking place is a do dog shit. Uh, it's like a kill room. It's unfortunate because it's all really expensive, but it's like you got look, you got four uh, fucking toll wed Wedgewood jars with a, t a t barley twist bedroom that a looks thirteen like, ghost bed right there. It's probably a hundred and forty thousand dollar bedroom set. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. I don't know what to say. Yeah, it's, this is all custom built, custom built, custom painted furniture. It looks like a video game. Yeah, it looks like a video game to a, a, a gilf's house. It'd be a good video game. Yeah, the, the you you know how you beat the game? You rim you rim a gilf. <laughs> you get a rim a clone of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, full fucking uh, full Calcutta marble. Uh, the whole marble bathroom is a nice touch. Um, lots of nice things, but I mean, twelve. Wow, like a grand theater Ooh. like that. Twelve million. Looks like a stadium. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, stadium theater. You got fucking again. We're gonna run the barley twist theme throughout. Or uh, I think that's what they call it. It's full bowling alley. It's the we house from Kingpin. It's Rah! got lions. It's got lions. It's got a, it's got a lion at the mouth. You're lion's the, mouth. You're opening the fridge. You get a wet shirt on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got Ishmael. Wow, it's my, oh, this is a professional baseball player's house. This is a professional player's house. Um, but hey, you made a bunch of money in the 2000s and then you, you know, you guilt core. Uh, it was you like Roger Clark. be weird? Yeah, it's psychotic. It's like Resident Evil house. Yeah, the tiny little pool. Themed rooms? Like, I don't know. I don't. I can't think like that. Maybe I should. Tiny little pool. You got fountain. Where are you swimming in this house? You swim in that tiny little pool and then you got two fountains. You got two operational fountains that probably cost you 5000 a month just to run. 
Um, and then you got these cast iron greyhounds that you bought in bulk, which is nuts. This carriage house. This house is literally irreplaceable. As far as the construction of the house goes, not an expense was spared as far as framing, siding, roofing, etc. The engineering of the house is actually fantastic. Um, couldn't have spent more money on it. Um, 620 bucks a foot is actually not bad. Believe it or not, that house is not that far off. The, inter the interior finishes actually suck balls, but the house is magnificent. And I know it's stupid, but at 600, that, that, that's worth, that, that's a, that's top of the mark. You're paying, you're paying almost one to one as far as materials go. The refurb and all that is going to be nuts, but the house is definitely a piece of real estate that you'd, uh, you never be able to replace ever. You're never making that again. You fucking be th 3,000 years before you make a house like that again for any kind of money. Oh, wow. Never, like no one, no one will do that ever. The Airbnb. It. There's enough billionaires to be like, there's enough houses we don't need to build anymore. <laughs> there's enough to like just take dead people's houses. We're cool. There's not enough space. We can't. Build it's cool. We don't need to build a house anymore. And they'll never be built again. These are the new pyramids. Wow. What's underneath them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's tunnels. There's tunnels right to the Playboy, Playboy Mansion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. From, James Conn from New house. York. Or in Jack Nicholson's house. 4,000 yeah, miles. 4,000 mile tunnels. It's to a pneumatic uh, subway system like the sewer system in New York. <laughs> you, you get there in like 15 minutes. We got uh, Art Fan 25. Uh, we got Art Fan with the 25. Bless stream. You guys are titans of comedy. Uh, I quote both of you all the time. The Utopia sketch <laughs> is a banger. Charles, any advice for making indie games or art in general? How do I bring purity to this wretched world? Hey, thanks for that. I mean, uh, you bring purity any way you can. When it comes to games, I mean, you know, you're not in the mainstream, so you're in the indie. You know what you're doing. You know, you're not going to make a game made in the normal spaces anymore. I had advice on getting a game made with a, a machine behind it or not. Uh, I just know that people people are able to make games just one man or two man or whatever the hell. So you can you can, you can do whatever the hell you want. But when it comes to um, when well, I mean when it comes to aesthetics. You study the greats, you study the 90s, you study the early 2000s, you make interesting things, okay? I mean, I can't tell you how to put a system together to make a game, but, but you, you want to look, you want to make things like they're in, like they're inside, man, not outside. Does that make any sense? Yeah, like, uh, you ever play that game Inside? Yeah. Do you like it? No. I, I, no is that a real thing? It's a, real game. It's a good game. Do you get inside? It's an, indie, it's an indie game. What do you get inside of when you play? You get inside of something? Uh, I can't I'll spoil it. Uh, it's a good game though. Uh, yeah. uh, a soul. Um, we got Homebuyer Seven with a twenty-five. Another truck I saw was a two thousand seven Chevy Silverado, fifteen hundred four door, uh, two hundred sixty k miles. Six door. <laughs> uh, two hundred sixty k miles with a clean title. Oh, did I read this one? No, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, How much? Price is five k. Yeah. Two hundred seven shoot. Forty two hundred bucks. Yeah. I was 4200 bucks. Is that suspension? Bed, push the side of the bed like this. Push the side of the truck. You gotta make sure there's no uh, rotted frame rails, etc. Uh, no mm -hmm. creasing. Open all the doors, close all the doors, open all the windows, put all the windows so down. So there's a protocol to check. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you push the frame, you get little checks. You drive the thing, stop it, break it, jam the brakes on, turn the steering rack, make sure nothing. Allow 50, allow 30% of problems. It's a $5,000 truck. And if it's really beat up and it's something like lower front end, uh, you know, tie rods, ball joints, front end work, I mean, when you steer the wheel, it's loose. Um, that stuff's relatively easy to fix, but it allows you to bush the guy. Um, Four thousand sounds like a better price. Forty-two hundred bucks. Bring cash. Hold out a bunch of money in your hand when you make him an offer like that, and it'll work. We got Big Belly Brooks with the twenty. Mm. Uh, hey Nick, why are Herman Miller chairs the only good chairs? Are there other kinds to look out for? Mm -hmm. Lazy Boy, etc. Oh, are you kidding me? There's tons. That's a that's a Herman Miller stuff is. It's good. I think I think the 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 sun setting on some of that fucking sixty shit. Uh, Herman Mills. I have two shell chairs just because I buy them. Um, I want them for two figures. You know, 75, 80 bucks tops, and I want the cool ones, um, the weird color ones, etc. They're nice though. They, they look good aesthetically. All the the mid century chairs are just designed to just aesthetically stand alone. You know what I mean? Like these the stupid Plycraft piece of shit. This is a fifty dollar chair, by the way, guys. I bought that for fifty bucks. That's not it's comfy to read. It's a super comfy. Book it. Oh, you read a book. I got the I got the, the ottoman the next day for ten dollars. Oh. oh yeah, I matched it. It was a match. It's, it's, it's the worst Plycraft piece of shit uh, chair you've ever seen. But buy them cheap. There's a lot of Danish chairs out there. You got to find one. Um, but aesthetically, it's good standalone chairs. Yes, yes. The sixty stuff do look good alone. <laughs> leather, leather is where it's at. What about computer chairs for long term use? Do yeah. You, do, is it, Herman Miller's good. Is it really yeah. a thing, or yeah. do I like? 
one of the ones you have downstairs or a new these one. are steel case these are these are the same ones downstairs these are steel case oh, uh, yeah, yeah. think chairs these are pretty good um, you can get these for uh, 50 to 125 bucks a piece the I mean, they want they want like 1300 ah oh, they're fucking 1500 dollars for I mean, one of those yeah 30 yeah 15 yeah. get out of here 1500 yeah. I was like what the fuck? get out of here. but they are nice though they are they are. the hammer mill stuff's nice and it does trade you can trade meaning if you pay 1300 bucks for it, it's not worth zero mm. it's worth 875 you know what i'm saying mm. you're getting a little bit of a retention so okay. and if you're in your fucking chair all day come on guys what are we talking yeah, about anything you use on mattress you can't spare expense for yeah, something nah. that uh, it's wear and tear nah yeah you gotta even fucking use it you got anything Chris? yep uh we got brad the 25 that site that makes uh url tiny then a slash rockford advice uh swear it's a safe link Accident, accidental elder abuse. Get your T-shirts here. Get your T-shirts here. Sent for my j- jail cell phone. Oh yeah, I don't go with that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think he's just talking about a tiny URL link. I don't know. Oh hell yeah! All right. Well, we'll we'll definitely look it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll we'll not seize the computers up on the t- clicking links, but yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, we got. We but got yo, two, dude. Two more. Yeah. Uh, Legion of Loads, twenty bucks. Uh, hey guys, do you have any advice for younger guys who are who are having issues with depression slash loneliness. It feels like men's mental health isn't taken seriously. Yeah. Thanks mm-hmm. for the laughs. They yep. make a difference more than you would ever know. It means a lot, man. Yeah. You, you chunk it. You take 100%. It. We all feel that stuff. Um, I mean, you can chalk a lot of that things up to um, <clears throat> your testosterone being depleted, hormonal uh, warfare, genetic warfare, eugenics. You can chalk it up to that. But I'm saying, uh, I mean, you can get down that rabbit hole if you want to. I mean, we can go all the way with that. But the most, the only power you have in this world, uh, we all feel the depression. You all feel something in, you know, you feel it's, your, you think it's your heart, but it's not. It's your gut. You can go into gut health if you want to go there. But I'm saying, and that's important. I'm telling you, gut health is important. Uh, take care of your stomach. But when it comes to the only power you have in this life is, is what you think. What you think is amplified. What you think, like, man, it, man I don't want to use, I don't. Manifests. I don't want to use those words. No, no, you, like yeah, you put on thought trades. It's crazy. What, what you're, you're the power, the only power you have, you got to pay taxes, you got to die, you got to do this and that, you got to beat your cock, you got to do all this. But the only power in the world that cannot be taken, that can only be given, is your thoughts. And it gives off, it, there's an energy. And if, in prayer is the only power you have, okay? When it comes to depression and this and that, you can look towards hormones and this and that, this is beyond the scope of the question. But the only power you have is how well you can pray. How well, how how well you can master your thinking, and it, you you think of along those lines when it comes to crippling depression. You think along those lines, and they will help you more than other things that are offered to you or things that you might think are are useful. They are less useful than prayer and what you think. Don't don't just give your attention away. You have to make it work for you. You are a machine that creates. You are a god that creates. You can't give it away. Make sure you remember that when it comes to depression. You can always reach. Yeah. It. You can always reach. Let's say drugs or or supplements or Something exercise, quick. and Some that's okay. Band aid, broken leg stuff. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. You have the fundamentally what you're thinking around the clock is more important than than even a shot of testosterone. It's the most important. I have to say that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good stuff. Yeah, keeping keeping conduit. I mean, it's not easy. I mean, obviously, I'm fucking ripping your butt. Thoughts, I'm your ripping thoughts butts here. Away. Oh yeah, you fucking start. <laughs> they tor- can torture you. They torture ah, it's, you. It's like it's like eating flannel shirts. You can't. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like you just like in life, you just like you know what's good for eating shirts. Not even a <laughs> like, ah! And your head's just running you ragged. Yeah, you got to keep your fucking thoughts pure, positive, and it's uh, only, it's really does have. work, man. It's I took that from Chuck. You have you, is your, your thoughts. It's true. It's 100 percent, man. What do you got? Uh, yeah, I got, got yeah. Gun, come, gun and come. I don't want to uh, miss gun anybody. And come. <laughs> gun and come. Yeah. Uh, we got TEC with the 25. I'm considering buying one of two cars. First is a 1991 300 SEL for 4,700. No. Uh, with 120k miles on it. No. Second is a 93 190e 2.3 for 6k. Yeah. Uh, with brand new brakes, tires, and rims with 88k miles on it. Buy that. Buy that. The 190. Don't buy the five. I have a 500 SEL. You can have it. I'll give it to you for fucking three grand. <laughs> it's a fucking. It's got 80 thousand miles to 90. I have a black black slammed out. I have the fucking suspension repair. It runs if you want it. I literally you can have it three. I, I fucking hate it. I'd rather smash it and blow it up than give it to you. That car sucks ass. <laughs> it's a fucking big sluggish piece of shit and a sweaty dumbass car. 
It's the last of the hand builds, is what they call it. But who cares? Go for the 190. It's so much cooler. We got mm, hand Yeah, built. yeah. That's what they call them. We got uh, Andrew Belson again with the 20. Charles, can't stress how great it is to see you. What are you most happy thanks. about in life? Hey, thanks. Thanks so much for that. Hey, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy that things are coming together for everybody. I'm happy that there are things being made that involve everybody. I'm happy. Um, you know, I'm happy that that uh, that these there are these platforms that have uh, have now, uh, you know, come come over to the other side that we can use. Yeah, it's so good that there are things happening. That, you get locked out of things for a long time, but now that there are other platforms, it's just it's so nice. Things being shot, things being streamed. It's it's like uh, it's the best case scenario. It's really nice. And he, and he asks Nick, "What about you? What are you guys proud of?" I'm no pay pig, but I'd rather spend a hundred here than some stupid bar. I love you guys so much. I appreciate it. I love you too, buddy. Um, no, it's, same, it's kind of the same thing, man. Uh, just doing what I always wanted to do in our own format. Uh, we don't have to answer to anyone, and uh, it's fucking great. <laughs> uh, we're making the, the the wildest stuff on the planet every day, and there's fucking fifty people showing up, and it's absolute bonkers. It's like blasting a, a fucking bazooka full of fireworks out of it's a crazy. gun every morning. And then drinking like a lemon juice, <laughs> and then driving a Formula One car. To, you know what I mean? While fucking high on edibles. Driving straight up. Yeah, yeah, you're getting a Formula One every day, uh, and trying to just just living in the moment for the second, and just really enjoying it. I'm sure it won't be this good forever, but oh, let's hope I can. Um, flying out to 14 Quaker Lane, Waterford, Connecticut. Anyway, and enough of that good stuff. We're gonna. Get, someone probably bought this house. That's why. I'm, uh, congratulations if you did buy this house. I like this a little dormer cape. Good layout. Nice house. They redid the windows for you. The kitchen's uh, the barn door. This this barn door shit's gonna go out of style. This actually archway is nicer than the barn door. They tried to fuck it up with. Misdirected a little bit. Yeah, they, they misdirected a beautiful <laughs> little uh, '40s cape. But uh, the the horse uh, the hardwood floors are nice. The backyard's fucking absolutely stunning. Um, I would build a patio from here to here. I would I would encase the whole thing. or maybe not. If you like green space, do do green. Um, work on the lawn, top dress, clean that shit up. You got to establish landscaping. Um, Spray some white vinegar solution to get the weeds out of your uh, that's a your de-weeder Dawn that you can do the Dawn surfactant whatever the, uh, the, the 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 organic weed killer don't use Roundup please God fast use Roundup. Actin, actin. yeah you boom tough, tough actin, 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 actin. it's John Madden John Madden uh, but no not, uh, like like the house honestly uh, good piece one twenty two Elf Freths Elf Bar Lane uh, <laughs> Elf Bar Elf Bar Philadelphia Elfreth. <laughs> Elf. Philadelphia, the movie AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tom Hanks taking pictures of gloves. Route sixty six. He's on Route sixty six taking pictures of gloves. That's fine. Weird. He's the biggest actor in our time. He's fucking taking pictures of fucking gloves. Sick freak. Yeah, everybody's Probably supposed to be. Car. <laughs> he's trapped. He's got fucking. He's, he's in a headlock by Oprah. A fruit basket forever. <laughs> <laughs> Oprah, God. Oprah's getting off. Of Remember her school? Remember her university? This year ran. Oh, it wasn't good. There's a, there's a few proclivities that ran a little bit rampant. Why? It's on campus. She's got a school. She's got a school. Wow, this thing's an old beat row house in Philly. Look at that, huh? What a community! It's like a Dutch community. It looks like a fucking. It looks like it's in. I like that. It looks like it's in Call of Duty. That's like an Amsterdam replica. That's a dead up German town. Um, okay, so I like the... It's a condo style. I mean, you have to look at the thing like a condo. It's got a little more leg in it. Um, not bad. It's kind of wonky, but uh, 1,200 square feet. Uh, that stuff tends... To, this, like, quirky living big city stuff tends to trade pretty well. Experiential living Philadelphia. Like, if you move to Philly... You get to live in like a, a little community. It's very attractive. University types will always rent it, take it. So properly style. I mean, this is the the person who just had this did the, did the deed with this thing, meaning like they did what you're essentially gonna do. As far as a, a good livability, I, I mean, it's they're cool spaces. They're photogenic as shit. Um, not a bad place to rest your head. I'm sure there's got ghosts there though. Oh, whoa. Yeah, four ninety nine seems a little steep, um, but I feel like. You might be able to find something in uh, Kensington for a bit, a little bit better of a deal. But uh, your call on if there's any like hard HOAs. Uh, parking looks like a little hairy. And uh, check around. I, I bet Philly might be a buy soon. So um, keep that in mind. We got one chat right here. Oh, yeah. uh, Moonish with the 25. Uh, I just got some Midwest cabins that have to be winterized. They have cool, knotty pine walls, but need new floors. 
This would be my first renovation. Uh, laminate is cheap, but I hate everything I see. Any thoughts about cabin floors? Yeah, do a one by 10. No, no, do one by six or one by eight. And the reason why I didn't say one by 10, uh, shiplap pine floors. It's easy, it's like a bucket 50 a foot. Lay it down, super easy to lay, use underlayment. It's just a cheap fucking barn floor, just do it. Paint the pine though. Uh, pine is not a wood that you show off. Sometimes, I mean, I don't know where you are, so you can paint pine cool colors. I I, 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 I tried to stain the pine to make it look like a cool thing. I've done oak walls before. Hardwoods take, pine's a softwood. This is pine, we, this is pine floor right here. <clears throat> this is uh, made out of um, uh, pet, pet coffin end cuts. Not even kidding you. Okay. I found a guy that was making pet coffins out of wood. These so it's kind of like taxidermy cat drone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this is taxidermy cat drone floor. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what it is. Uh, fuck. Uh, yep. But no, I. But you know, you, uh, one by one by six, one by eight pine shiplap flooring. Just you know, learn nail it in there. Keep it keep it nice and tight. Uh, learn how to learn how to make the floor, but uh, that's a cheap way out, and it's cheap, man. It's, you're gonna get in that thing for like six, seven hundred bucks. Um, that's that's the easiest way, and then paint the fucking floor though. The cat drone, put cat, <laughs> put cat drone on though. Oh fuck, uh, man, eleven fifty one. What's that? Three garage. It's three, three half garages. It's what three garages. I gotta talk to Tucker to see this house. What the fuck? It's a hard. It's a hard house to find pictures of. No docs in you, buddy. I'll come back to it, buddy. But eleven fifty one village name. I have to go to Compass. Where am I getting? You gotta look at a map. Come on, give me the. All right, here we go. It's a condo. You bought it. Oh, good layout. Nice layout. This condo. High ceilings. Nice spiral staircase to fucking deck yourself down. <laughs> you fucking just constantly rip your neck off. You get caught with your head between the rails. You rip your head off completely. You're walking around for three weeks now. <laughs> Just your ghost lives. <laughs> From a stick because you wanted a cool staircase, you know. Nice. They painted the fucking eaves in the basement. Wow. <coughs> they got a wild basement. Carpeted wild carpeted finished basement. Uh, I like it. I actually like I like the finished basement. This front door sucks cock. But the fucking house looks yeah, we just great. Take it off. Yeah, rip it off. Um I like the layout. It's actually not bad. Two and a half bath condo. Two bed, two and a half bath. Good layout. That's a good bed, bed, bed bath count. 202, you're going to be fine with that, man. That's a good rental. Great rental. Um, I don't like condos much, for, but for 200000 for that big old condo, 73 bucks a foot with kind of a decent finish. I don't love the staircase. I don't, I don't love spiral staircases, but it's a good one. Uh, uh, it's a good example of a spiral staircase. Wall-to-wall -wall flooring, mm. uh, carpet flooring, not the greatest, but great piece. Great, great piece. Mm. We got, I don't like condos, and I like this one. We had Joshua Detar with the 20... Uh, gifted memberships. Jesus. Again. It's crazy. Memberships. Please, I like the stream. For me, do it for Charles. Do it for Chris. It makes it. But YouTube will give us likes. money. Uh, yes. Oh, good. Um, uh, we got Moot asking, Hey, Charles, can you talk about Mr. Pregnant? I absolutely loved it and have rewatched it many times. I'm glad you reformed your old cowboy gang. Oh yeah, that that was a classic time. That yeah, you know Andy, you know how he does. That was a that was a sketch that was I think it was, it was like the concept of it, the the scenario of it, it was put together by uh, I think it was submitted by a, a, a Devin, a classic friend I lived with uh, back in the Atlanta days. The 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 premise of it, and um, you know Andrew came came over with that, and it was it was just uh, it turned into something something really crazy. And the punchline at the end was sort of just kind of improv in the the pregnancy thing. Kind of worked well, and it really turned it into a, to a piece that um, that really uh, was a lot. It was it was pretty. It was I guess you, I don't know. I don't want to say it's hard, but uh, glad you enjoyed it. But the I really I look back at the phone call scene there, and I really do. I look back at it and I say it was a really good piece. Timmy was in that. Yeah, Timmy was in that. Too. Yeah. yeah, Timmy. God, it's unbelievable. Yeah, we took Timmy's a lot. Great. Of, we, we had a lot of footage with him. Timmy, it's a, it's a really class. It's a special piece, and you know, it's it's really um, it's really your reality now. Um, everyone thought it was a joke when it came out. That whole, I mean, it's it's disconnected from the rest of the, the sketch, but the punchline, uh, a little bit of it. But you know, now you see that sort of thing kind of in your in your lifetime, that uh, the surrogacy and all that, and it's really just awesome, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that kind of cool. <laughs> I just sometimes I think how. Well, I don't even know if I want to say it, but women, they voted themselves into extinction. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry that they did that, but I just want to say that. It sucks.
I mean, it's, anyone can be fooled. It's not their fault. I'm just saying. It's, it's nice. black magic. Yeah, it's all witchery. It just hits them harder, so that's why they get they get uh, you know pulled into the stuff and they you know vote themselves into extinction. It's pretty liberating. <laughs> we, we, okay. we got uh, Luke F with the thirty Australian. Uh, welcome back, Charles. We've all missed you from down under Australia. Uh, with that said, give us your impression of a Portuguese man from Fall River. Uh, with iodine poisoning, please and thanks. Okay, wait, from wait. Fa- from Fall River Ford. Ford. So it's a car. So oh. iodine poisoning. Uh, that got for, for eating too much of the clams. Thanks. <laughs> That's what they're talking about, Chuck. <laughs> 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 you, do, I eat too many clams. The doctor said to me straight away, Mauricio, you have the iodine poisoning. Too many shrimps for Zamb- Mozambique. I eat too much paella. Uh, we got. 25 from Awkward Weatherman. Uh, I have a one-year-old yellow lab and left him with my Portuguese dog sitter last week. When I came Uh home, he said the dog ran away. What really happened? The dog ran away. uh, No, no, the dog not ran away. The dog will find a better place to live. A warmer. He go now. He know my dog no more. It's that easy. He leave. He better. He he fine. He leave now. He fine. The dog ran away. It's great. You don't have to put up the missing dog for the paper and the waste of papers for it. The dog is a better place. He's fine. He may be warmer. He have better food for him, for water, maybe a trace mineral. <laughs> better sex. He's getting better sex for him, the dog. I'm not giving the dog sex too much. Uh, we got 20 from Fad. Uh, miss you so much, Charles. MD never dies. Nick, I have a 10, 10K... In a 2012 Mazda 3 with 160k miles, wanted to get a Tacoma. What year and what price am I looking for? Thanks. No, it's gonna base your payment. I mean, what's your palette for a car payment? Um, let's try to keep that car payment low. I think the, the the car payment I love to hear people say is 325 bucks. It's just a manageable car payment for for what I've seen. People never really fuck themselves. You start getting to that 400, then you say why not 500, then you say why not 600. But 375 bucks, 3 325 to 375 buys you 16, 17 grand. It's gonna buy you a fucking. It's gonna buy you like a 2010 uh, Tacoma. You know, same year, which isn't an exciting buy, but it's a safe buy. So uh, that's why I'd like to see whatever whatever you can get. Your digital credit union allows uh, three, four grand down. Um, uh, th- three or four grand down, and get yourself into like a, a nice small baby car payment. That, that'd be nice, and it doesn't matter. A 2010 looks just like a 2020. Uh, it looks like just like a 2016. So it doesn't matter. You can get a 2016 for 21,000 or for 19,000, or you can get a 2010 for fucking 10 grand or 9,800, and that's just the same fucking truck, guys. Same goddamn thing. So that's it. Mm, yep, we're good. Okay. Uh, we're flying out here to 40, 429 Delvey Road in Vilas, New, Jer- New Jersey. And this uh, beautiful geodesic dome. It's a geodesic with a oh, oh, nice is that a hot tub. Yeah, it's a nice hot tub. It's a nice, it's a well built geodesic Ooh. right near ocean. Fucking, it's right on Guido Beach. Um, honestly, <laughs> geodesic spiral. Yeah, it, it, it's another spiral. They're fucking falling down. It, fucking it. with you. <laughs> yeah, 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 just send them the spirals. Um, just impaling yourself, but it's a pretty well-built geodesic. Uh, honestly, these make pretty good for Airbnbs. So the Airbnb ability for this house, uh, it's off-market, is is kind of perfect. Um, that's what it takes. It's I don't like geodesics as a whole, but it's pretty good. It's it's a pretty good one. Uh, the layout and the finish of it's pretty nice. Um, looks. I don't know if there's flood insurance in this area, but the house is decorated by someone who didn't understand what the fuck they own. I mean, the color of that bedspread is atrocious. I mean, I'm sorry. I'll tell the grandmother right to her face, your taste level sucks. It's too loud. I know, Sherry. Listen, Sherry, the too much aquamarine blue in this house. It's like, oh, uh, we went up to see Meshuga. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the Hamptons last week to see Meshuga and Cradle of Filth. They were opening at the the great the fairgrounds. I got there early so I could spit in the mosh pit. <laughs> That's who lives there. Yeah, but sugar in the Hamptons, damn. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Sweden. Yeah, it's just the same thing. I just yeah. love it. 103 Ocean Drive, Richardson, Texas, 255. For sale, four bed, two bath, twelve hundred square foot ranch. Built in '63. Not much not to like. Richardson, Texas is probably a hot area right now. Texas is a hot area. No income tax. Oh. A big tax state. 
That's big. nice. Everyone That's, goes there, right? Oh, yeah. Everybody is getting out of here going right to Texas for a big, big old income loophole. Um, I like fucking uh, Zillow just being straight up trash tonight. It's funny. Yeah, it's bandwidth. Yeah. They're like, oh, we don't have it. Zillow's going out of business. All right, he's got the same. I have that same exact car. That's the car I'm going to crush right there. 9,500 SEL. Um, oh, nice, nice house of filth. Hey, realtor's coming over. Don't clean anything. Oh, oh nice. They painted the linoleum floor, but they didn't paint underneath the boxes. You fucking lazy piece of shit. What the hell? Yeah. I've never met someone. Uh, I'm glad you got a fucking executive presidential dictator's car, but you didn't. Uh, I'm sure dictators know not to paint the fucking area underneath the boxes. It's very, it's very world leader of you, you dipshit. <laughs> this house is really rough shape. Just a heads up. The, the maintenance is going to be completely, completely in, in disrepair. Uh, there might be a cockroach problem. Not kidding. Um, it's not a bad house for what it is, but it's just poorly maintained. Just be ready for the garage door opener to suck, the air, the air heater. Any of the, the HVAC work is going to be shit. The boiler is going to be shit. The plumbing underneath the sink is going to be leaky. The toilets aren't even going to be situated right. The wax ring is going to be blown out. The fucking drains are going to be full of fucking snot piss. All rings going to be blown out. All O-rings blown right out of this fucking piece of shit. Um, the house is going to be in a little bit of a rough shape, just a heads up. But the area I do like. Um, I'd like to see you find one that's in a little bit better shape. Maybe even pay a little bit more money for it. We got a Fallow Gardens with a 20. Long time listener, first time caller. I love watching you ruin your career screaming at the laptop. Hell yeah. Keep on trucking, Habibi. When is the scruffed landscaper stream? Uh, as soon as we get, we got I gotta get my landscaping back in shape. I've been doing too much TV shit. My landscaping is not, I'm not proud of it. My grass is good, but the rest of it's fucking trash. Um, but I'm gonna fix that soon. I already have phone calls. But uh, thank you for calling, man. Uh, I am just flushing my career down a toilet while streaming, screaming at a laptop of my friend. I have nothing better to do, Chuck. Yeah, I have be nothing worse. better to do. We could be worse. I'm screaming here with you guys. You guys are all here, and that's the best feeling in the world. So I <laughs> like flushing my career completely down the toilet and not doing anything else other than doing this. <laughs> uh, this is a new track house with this one of 1,000s pop of red color. 62 bridal path. Um, wow. It's about as vanilla as it gets. Wow, closed in porch, though. Nice touch. You smoke weed in there. Yeah. They build your nice. house, a nice builder. It was like this. You can smoke weed in there. You can smoke weed in the window, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's what he see. You smoke weed in the winter, right? Perfect. It's indoors. It's heated. You fucking just go out here for a blunt. You'd be good. <laughs> you can sneak out here. Listen, she's 84 years old. <laughs> You're telling her to sneak out here for a blunt? Uh, outdoor, I mean, nice enough features. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm paying 140 bucks a foot for something like this, though. Mm. What are we paying? Oh, we're not. We're paying. Two hundred and seventy dollars a foot. No, uh, nope. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's North Carolina's kind of hot area. Uh, the house is pretty good for a builder grade. The basement's finished. The metal roof and the eaves is nice. The layout's an easy sell. Four fifty four seems a little rich based on the the level of the finishes, but the yard seems pretty nice and the layout's pretty good. But um, eh, it needs a kitchen. But I do like this porch, and I would pay. I, I'd pay fifteen thousand dollars extra for the porch like that because I know it's a good time to be living. House has a good layout and live. Kitchens are finished. Um, not not uh, a fantastic price. Don't overspend in it. Just use the fucking thing like crazy, and then uh, go for it all right before you sell it. But use the house and just make a lot of money while you're living in this uh, in the house. Oh yeah, you have any? You, you good here? We're good. Oh hell yeah. That's a nice. Place. Look at that. That's a nice, nice place to. It up. That's oh a yeah. Seller. Yeah, you gotta hit the fucking. We gotta hit some fucking. Hey, what about the other the other uh, piece of uh, real estate? Oh, yeah. So I have to get on my email to open it. Unless you want to type it out letter for letter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. First. Oh, yeah. No, I think it's, I mean, you know, just. I'll find it. We'll get it. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's. What is it? How big is it? It's like, uh. You have oh, to, that's you have so to, funny. All right. It, yeah, it's like something. I'll, I'll get it. I just have to, it's. There's no way to send it unless you like type the URL word for word. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 710 East Crestview, Farmington, New Mexico. It's great, great Dilf core. Wow, nice 90s, 90s print uh, chairs there. A little wild, getting wild and wacky. Um, hmm. 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 I'm glad they didn't touch the bathrooms. That's one one plus. I don't know about this. Let's see here. As long as they're not charging me for all these silly upgrades. Wow, look at this back screen and porch. Oh, all the. It's 
got a lot of extras for uh, New Mexico, I'll tell you that. What are we paying for this son of a bitch? 360, huh? Hmm. Good lot. As far as placement, you're out in the middle of the grid. This thing sold for 265. I don't think it's that bad. It's been trading for around 360. The guy did some work. Uh, it's not great, but uh, he did that kitchen. That's why he wants his money back. Kitchen's not great, but you can paint it. And he did some electrical work. It doesn't look like that bad of a job. Um, it doesn't It doesn't look like that bad of an install. It looks like semi... It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, I like it. Not bad. No, no one's gouging. It's, it's gouge-free. Petrolia Street. Kearns City. Kearns. Kearns. Oh, oh yeah. Coding. Oh, yeah. Um, Kearns City, yeah. Uh, I got one more, and then we'll be in, like, heaven world. We'll oh, have, like, one, two oh, left. Oh, yeah. We're in fucking heaven right now. <laughs> like, let me get this last one. Then we're, like, one, two. 51,000. 17. Okay, nice pick. Current City, Pennsylvania. All right. This is a piece of shit with, built on cinder blocks. This is dog shit right here, but that doesn't matter. The, the original house is not bad. You, you got a house right behind you. That's, that's a little tough. Not bad. You're looking at a little refinery there. You got some moldy rugs. 51000 Not financeable. Not financeable. Hmm... Main road, not financeable, 51 grand. Uh, uh, who bought this? Who, let's see, 42, 41, no. Yeah, this house is 25,000 bucks. 40 grand, uh, 40 grand. All cash plus the reno. Uh, you'll, 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 you're gonna spend, if you have $75,000, you can buy this house. If you don't, I would rather see you buy something for 110 that's finished that's not this. Um, these $51,000 little shitums uh, aren't, it's not bad. It's been on the market forever. The person just wants to get off it. Just find and ask for the seat. Looks like we have a roof problem here. This house is a little piece of shit, man. I think this house is tough. I'd pass. That's that's too too close. I'd, I'd definitely pass. How you doing? Good. Uh, the next question, uh, I was just waiting for Chad. Oh, yeah, you wait for Chad. Chad! Pretty caught up. I thought that wig was a fucking animal. What's that? Oh, yeah, the wig is, is an animal. That's the new dog. Um... Yes. As usual, we're a small business. We appreciate your patronage. Thank you for picking anything up. If you want something from your house, a little school this summer, something that'll talk about, a, a talking piece perhaps, come on over, pick something up. We love you. Thank you. Uh, Ciao! Smells like pine. You got a, you got a question for you, Chuck. I'm What's gonna, that? Gonna, oh, pine? Gonna, oh, gonna, oh, I do a pine box. Uh, <laughs> What's this? It's actually, it's for both of y'all. I'll wait till you get back. Or right, I'll, I'll, I'll hit this one. Uh, well, that's the rug question. All right. Um... Nick, I found my uh, Nick. I found my first dope rug find at an estate sale for sixty bucks. Yeah. Uh, search up Salvador Dali Le Grand Pavon rug. Okay. Uh, what should I do with it besides store in uh, besides store it in nicely for now? No, you, you put it down on your floors, dude. <laughs> what are you crazy? Uh, having it professionally cleaned now. Love you, Chuck. Salvador Dali. Love you. Let me read this in Chris, uh, oh, Chris yeah. Pounce here. Oh, it's all about you, um, Yeah, Salvador Dali. What did he do? Is he a painter? He had like a mustache. He wanted $100,000 an hour to work on a movie or something. Some quack. Sa <laughs> Sa 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 Salvador Dali? Okay. No, he's fine. Uh, Salvador Dali Le Grand uh, Pavon Rug. Oh, Salvador Dali Pavon Rug? Yeah. Salvador Dali Dal Pavon. Lay. Grand P A V O N rug. Power rug. Oh. That's a bathroom rug. It's, yeah, it's, it's a nice piss rug. Uh oh, nice. Whoa. Sixteen grand. Nice piece. So he's Forty for sixty bucks. Good for you, buddy. Nice find. <laughs> um, yeah. Hey, guys, rugs, that's why I fuck with rugs. They they're they're dope. I mean, <laughs> when rugs are really good, they're fucking dope. I don't know what to say. It's nice. Uh yeah, get it cleaned. And, uh, fuck, listed on Cherish. L listed on Cherish right on the side of this one. Hopefully yours is in better condition. Um, nice piece. Uh, I, I don't really give a fuck about Dolly shit. It's not a bad looking rug. Um, I like it. He made a nice C rug. Congratulations on finding a nice piece. That's honestly my biggest dream is that, you know, that's, that's, you buy it for me for, you know, let's just say 80 bucks. 
you get told by your grandma that it's four hundred dollars, and then you find one for five dollars. That's what I want to happen. That's my dream. So, uh, but yeah, great man. I, I, that's that's awesome. That, that that is such a fucking that feeling is so good. I I love that when that shit happens. It used to happen to me all the time. Now it's not as fun. I just I'm buying doper shit, but it's all it's all high it's higher risk. When you're young, you're just finding like random shit. You don't even give a shit. You're like, ah, rug. I don't care about rugs. You find it, you look it up. It's like five thousand dollars. You buy it for ten dollars. You just I, love that shit. I Ugh. saw a hundred dollar bill on the highway today. Really? Show you not. <laughs> I, I swear. Was it a trick? I, well, that's why I was like, I was about to slow down. It was, and, like, and I was, and like, like, uh, it was on the highway. But I was like, I swear, I saw. It. Anyways, well, uh, Lord of Malice, twenty five bucks. Could you guys shed some light on the actor from the dad sketch who said, you need to get your asses kicked? <laughs> oh, God. We were just talking about him on, on some oh, yeah. days ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a fucking pain in the ass. He was classic. No, yeah. he was baiting you, right? Yeah, yeah. He's trying. Yeah. He's always trying. Guy baiting because uh, you, you, when you shoot things in the, uh, on union sets, you know you sue. You get fucking... You get every dollar. <laughs> Looking for a lawsuit. Immediately. Uh, oh, union... Uh, yeah. Uh, bonding insurance lawyers will instantly give you 40000 to go away. Whoa. They just want to settle. They're like, just come take it. Please. Yeah, fucking idiots. No, we don't have any of those anymore. They're good sports. But yeah, everybody's a good sport. Everybody's a sweet, he sweet sport. He had his out the whole time. You just couldn't see it because the camera wasn't looking that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so, good news. Last two houses of the night. So, anything we have, you got. We got Charles's list. Oh, we got Charles. Oh, we got to get Charles. Oh, yeah, we got to get that. Extra list. You think I can Google that, that address <laughs> and it would come up? I tried a link shortener, but uh, that, it wouldn't work. Um, nah. I, I, I sent it to my email, so all I have to do is I can. All right. It's got to be a way I can to hide my email to, and look it up at the, uh, at the end. There's got to be a way to send it to yeah, this no, Oh, well, yeah. I'll get it up. I'll get it up. Oh, well, yeah. Um, you want to hit this one and then we'll hit those? Oh, let me yeah. let me hit this one. Then we'll get... Newport, Vermont, one fifty two Second Street, thirty one thousand dollars price cut, four nineteen old school Victorian house redone, ninety five bucks a foot. I like what I see. Uh, this is a good buy. Thirty one thousand. Someone's a little hung. Someone's a little nervous. Maybe a death. Maybe a divorce. I don't know. Um, but something fishy. They bought it for a buck and a quarter, but then they spent the money on it. So what we're looking for is two hundred fifty thousand dollars ish in upgrades. Um, uh, that's a uh, soapstone sink. Soapstone sink is that's a nice touch. Waterfall Carrera Marble Island. The style didn't match up. Like these, these are. It's very weird. That's like putting BBS wheels on on a Model T. Um, uh, nice blanket. Nice uh, barrel top blanket chest right there. That's worth a buck. Um, wow. Post mod wireframe dining room set in a Victorian. Interesting Danish dining room set. Bunch of chairs. These people knew what they're doing. They're, they're trying to squeeze the buck. They're doing basically a carriage. Is that a car or an old a vintage 1940s, 50s rug? Nice piece. Uh, that's probably a. Uh, that's another nice piece. That that piece of furniture is worthless. Uh, <laughs> nice front door. Uh, nice nice details in the house. Uh, the banister wasn't refinished. Like an Ushak runner is a nice piece. Um, wow. I put a knoll a knoll chair in the bathroom. That's for someone who likes to watch. <laughs> I'll sit here and watch. I'm going to rest my bones right here while you go. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and so lather up. I'm going to stay here. It's me, Kevin Spacey. It's me, Kevin Spacey. I'm going to stay here and watch and poke my ass against the glass. Can you knock on it where my butthole is? That's me. That's Kev. That's me, Crazy Kev, at the Bliss Spa trying to get rimmed by a masseuse. Um... Yeah, yeah, uh, not far. So the, 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 they redid the siding and the paint. That's uh, the siding, windows, and paint and roof job on this house was easily a hundred and a quarter. The inside looks like they ran out of money. They tried this concept here. This kind of failed. I don't really like this mod kitchen. The pantry's nice and original. Um, this this kitchen is just a kind of a, kind of a little bit of a failure. But uh, nice house. Uh, the money's there. Uh, I don't know the area of Vermont as far as uh, it looks a very Airbnb, um, if you ask me. But um, I think a little bit, a couple of light mods, you might have yourself a house. Um, that's it. I'll, I'll hold off to the. Uh, I have. Ch I have I think Chuck's house. The last one's a whorehouse. Yeah. Uh, how would I do it? Like, oh, you want to get? It's, uh, it's access. It's not. It. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'll access it. Oh yeah. Access now. Yeah, you access go ahead. I'm gonna go get it. Access IPA. Access.
Yeah. IPA.org. <laughs> Google.IPA. IPA.sped. <laughs> uh, man, it's muggy out. Yeah, it's a bit mugged. Yeah. I don't mind it, though. It's a bit mugged. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. So we're finally going to get this listing yes. out. It's oh, really yeah. exciting. Hell yeah. Now, this is the uh, Conjuring House in uh, Boroughville, Rhode Island. It's no the Conjuring It's itself for a million five. It's a piece of shit. Ugh. Where is it? Bar is it like Harrisville or Bar is it Barville? Yeah, it's way up the fucking in Jabum Fuck. Barville goes so far into Rhode Island, you're in fucking. Uh, Jabum Fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jabum Fuck. Yeah, you're in Canada. Yeah, where the Conjuring House is insane. It sells for a million and a half dollars. Horror films selling fucking. You couldn't sell the Benjamin Button house. <laughs> uh, you know the you know, what is it? Meet Joe Black. This is three. Wow. We're flying out. We're flying out to the metaverse. This is Charles's house. Look at this. Look at this place. This Chaz, place is three Chaz This Lane. is three Chaz Lane in Central Island. Yeah, this is supposed to be really nice. <laughs> Beautiful waterfront properties, perfect location, close to the lighthouse of Alexandria. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of crazy stuff built in this little uh, village. <laughs> Five minute from Tragland, surrounding area. The house is perfect location for family or a couple. Beautiful. Yeah. Ah, oh, you got the outdoor patio, Chuck. Yeah, yeah, we, we did this patio work. We did some pavers. Uh, has a lot of toilets. It's a pretty convenient. I'm, I like this picture f size. It's really yeah, great. It's, it's, uh, I didn't expect this, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, I didn't, didn't know that you were going to form at me like, hey, you never know. When you, look at, you know, when you're looking at... This is beautiful. Oh, you, got the, you got the pool. You got the deep pool. I like the stairs. And, and that's heated. There's lava at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. It's bubbling. You're yeah, like you're, you're boiling. Yeah, you're boiling. It's you're, really you're nice. Chicken soup in yeah. two seconds. You throw a chicken in there, it comes out. You know, pot pie. <laughs> it's roasted. <laughs> <laughs> it's roasted. Uh, this is incredible. Uh, so now this is a beautiful fire pit outside. It's blowing smoke. Yeah, but you have an Eve pit. overhead, so that's a little bit, a little bit of a hazard. That's oh, nice. You got the fucking LeBron James Illuminati school. Yeah, we got RuPaul's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <dream. laughs> LeBron James. yeah, LeBron James uh, High School uh, Illuminati floor blaze pizza. Damn, you can't beat that. Mm. Wow, man. Yeah, it's a special. It's a nice place. Uh, I figured you'd enjoy it. I figured you'd want to buy it. Honestly, if you want to buy it, right? It's now. a million two nine. It's big money. You got oh man, you got riding the lion over here. Yeah, ride the lion. Yeah, this is some bestiality pieces that I picked up. <laughs> I, kind of like. I picked up my buddy yard sale in Minecraft. So I guess hey, come on over to my beast. Wow, look at that what island. If I scan that into Minecraft. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that. It's beautiful. It's wow, got a it's nice, a nice lighthouse. Only on an island. I love it. I love the stairs. No railing. You're falling down, cracking yeah, your neck. Yeah, you don't get hurt in this world. There's no codes in Minecraft. There's no, there's no building inspector in Minecraft. It's incredible. You fall down the stairs, nothing happens. Yeah, what are we nice talking? Place. Yeah, what, what kind of? This, this is like a monster here. Yeah, yeah. It, and people keep on big building. modern monster over yeah. here. Yeah, you got outdoor grill. Yeah, I like this uh, covered pergola out here outside, just chilling. Yeah, it's a nice piece. What biome is this in? Oh, I don't know. Horses, <laughs> pandas. <laughs> no, I think it's pa bamboo pandas. <laughs> yeah. Wish anyway, you know, yeah, we've been having some laughs in there. Oh shit! No, no, forward. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's gotta nice. be. That. Oh, well, it's that'd beautiful. Be yeah, no, that's. Oh, you know what? Should oh, oh, I go yeah, there? Twenty-two dot png. What was it listed for? Uh, previously. Okay. Oh. Oh, it, it does it automatically. Oh, oh yeah, that's one of those png tricks that uh, Edge has. Oh, here we go. It's way better. Oh, oh way oh, better. Yeah, it. nice. My bad. Beautiful. You got driveway, you got vines. Yeah, you have I, to have ivy. I like this. I, I like the the the, uh, the setup with the railing and the pool. Wow, it's overlook. I like the cross. patio overlooks the pool. It's heated too. There's lava at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you, man. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. Oh, yeah, I, had to, I had to do it. This is this I is so funny. Look at the back. Look at, uh, what's what's this over here? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't gone that far. What? I, I don't understand Minecraft at all. Like not not no, even one bit. Little, not even one it iota. just generates a little place, and the, you just collect materials and you build these uh, these things. Like that's a material. That's a material. You, know? you have to just go mine rocks and yeah, yeah and you well, can lay I them down. I can't handle mining things. I I'm just I can't handle it. Can you hook up auto miners to them? Uh, well, well, there's there are things that do generate um, hard to get elements. Yeah, there are. You have to build a torture chamber. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's what it's called. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's like what do, you, what do you make like iron? That's how you harvest iron. Like iron golems. It's like the villagers. You you take villagers. You put them in this little 
little containment unit and you scare them with, I don't know if there's weapons or fire or something, but they remain in a, in a scared state and, and they generate these uh, guardians of the town. Uh, I mean, someone, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think I have an understanding of it. And the golems come out and, you know, they, you, you keep them there and you, I don't know if they blow them up, but they, they mine iron through that little machine right there. Really? Yeah, the fear machine. Fear Factory. I who, think they built. Who runs Minecraft? Did Amazon buy Minecraft? Uh, no, Microsoft did. Mm. Yeah. Uh, why? What was Billy after? Uh, he just. I guess he wanted a world that he could call his home. <laughs> what he wanted to do is look like a like he wanted to. He wanted to show off the way his body looks in pictures. <laughs> I thought he wanted to eat cream pies right before he walked into <laughs> meetings. <laughs> He wanted his wife to look the way she does. Yeah, he wanted to, he wanted to date Chris Klein. <laughs> what, uh, what is it? Uh, Klein? It's Klein. Klein? Uh, was it Bill Gates' husband? Is the actor Klein? Kevin Klein. Bill Gates is married to Kevin Klein. Oh, Kevin Klein. Mm. Oh, okay, I see the resemblance. Oh, there. yeah. Oh, I see the resemblance. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So hot, sexy nights between uh, Bill and Melinda getting hot, tight, wet sex <laughs> after coming home from one of them galas, you know. <laughs> galas. That's so funny. Uh, we got uh, Thaddeus Daddy with the 20. My super chat was not right co correctly. Oh. Wrecked Shit. Yeah. Damn near killed him. Yeah. Um, I have 10K cash in... I have 10K cash and a 2012 Mazda 3 that is completely paid off. Looking for a Tacoma... What year in mileage? How much should I put down? And what can I get for a trade-in? Again, Charles. Uh, ooh. Hey, thanks. Uh, trade-in. What's it? How many miles in his car? Um. I don't know. Go NADA fair value, five hundred bucks over it. That's what I would do. NADA fair. If it's got good tires, get good value. Uh, trade your car at CarMax if there's no tra tax credit. Um, Mileage-wise, if you try try to find something under seventy thousand miles. Or if not, take a price hit, jump up to a 90,000 mile rig, and then um, jump down in a price bracket. Um, I mean, like I said, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I mean, just like pick your poison. Try to find the best one, best option truck. Um, the crew cabs tend to sell the best, just so you know. I feel like the super cab, the short, the super cabs will start to be rarer and people like them. Um, so you can't go wrong. I mean, it's, it's literally like, a, it's like what, what's, what sort of fucking. What's something that you can't take? Like, there's no bad one. It's like exercise. There is no bad one to do. Just do any one. That's what a Toyota Tacoma is. Do sit-ups, fine. Do jumping jacks, fine. Jog, fine. Doesn't matter. Boxing, fine. Doesn't matter. Yoga, fine. Doesn't matter. That's what a Toyota Tacoma is. It doesn't matter. Free climb. Yeah, free climb. Sure. Yeah, you want to fucking Zumba. Whatever you want. Toyota. About fencing. Yeah, you can do <laughs> fencing. It's sweat and fencing. Right. You're cool. Uh, we got... Karis watch the 20. Grateful to see this. Wonderful. LOL. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we got Ben Wilkins with the 25. Hey guys, what was the actor that played Tommy Fiddlesticks in the third History's Liars episode? Oh, that psychopath. Oh, that was, was a classic really crazy Tommy. Oh, he was, was nuts. He, was he really crazy or was he just he had a good that good of an actor? Yeah. He was, he was fucking, he was, he didn't know how to say funny things, yeah. but he was a fucking psycho job. He was crazy. Yeah, he was a bit, he was a bit blessed. Much blessed. Oh, yeah. Thrice blessed, I think. No, he was good. He was good to have around. He, he didn't make me nervous. No, he didn't. No, he was funny. He was nice. No, he was great. I, that was a funny day. I yeah. enjoyed that shoot. That was a good day. I really, really enjoyed that space. Remember it's that space? Crazy. That was kind of a fun space. That's so crazy. Yeah. We got uh, Joe's Rare Finds with 25. Uh, Chris it up. This isn't a cool antique story, but I am a garage sale junkie. I paid 20 for two boxes full of floppy disk video games from an old computer programmer. One of them was D&D &D Neverwinter Nights, sold for 2K on eBay. Wow, nice find. A disc of it? Yeah. A floppy disk, yeah. Do you have it? Floppy disk? A three and a half, floppy. How does Neverwinter Nights fit on a floppy disk? Maybe, maybe, maybe he's talking about a CD, but he mentioned oh, well, floppy disk. Oh, okay, yeah. No, maybe awesome. he's got like a test build or something. <laughs> yeah, like that. he's got the. It's worth the 50,000. Yeah. He's right. just got hosed. He got hosed. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah. Got, he's got the fucking early one. Go Who's on. the creators of D&D? D&D. I don't know, probably some CIA spooks. <laughs> you know how it is. So yeah, yeah, like it's, the game's the best game of all time. He's it's like, brilliant well, minds. All these guys who want to play, uh, you want to play some D&D, but there's a game we just invented. <laughs> Uh, we're actually on the base where they're all admirals and captains and shit. You want to come play? Yeah. Uh, they're all in naval intelligence. Everybody so knows that. Everything. Aircraft carrier. Let's test out these new rules I just designed. 
Why is he sitting with an admiral? It's unbelievable. It's so stupid. Uh, we got we got uh, one more. Uh, Aaron G. Smith with 33. Uh, nice house, Charles. Thank you thanks. for adding my giant cross in the photos. Yes. It really adds to the value. Oh, thanks so much for that. Yeah, I know it's nice to see, and I'll be back in the Minecraft zone. Oh, man. Oh, build some more little uh, bordellos. Every house is a bordello. Gary Giga. Gary Gygax. Gygax. Gary yeah. Gygax. Yeah, I remember I read a book uh, that's many weird. years ago, a book about that stuff. He's just a CIA agent, ice skater. Yeah, they all, they all are. They all are. Yeah. The multi-user dungeons, they're all like, there's all these admirals and all those kinds of office, uh, Navy officers playing with us tonight. Okay, that's kind of that's nice. <laughs> so you're playing a game, the design of it, the testing of it, the, the everything, it's a military operation. <laughs> like, oh my God, wow, that's video games. There's a military military operation the whole time. You're trying like, to play oh, board no. games for dorks. <laughs> like, there you go, you dork, trying to figure out how to run the world. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking Latin. It's crazy. Yeah, the, the first rules are written in Latin, in blood. It's a it's a thirty eight million year old game. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest game there is D and D. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sumerian tablets is the D and D rules. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're fucking they're laser carved in fucking the middle of Peru. <laughs> Tarot cards. Yeah. <laughs> Play D and D is the oldest game in the book. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. Uh, I, oh, it's a bathroom house. It's a little bit little bathroom house. A little walkout. Not bad. Well, then I was like, I, I think I got one more, and then I'm done. And then I'm done. Uh, oh wow! All right, wait, so I have one, two. Right, this I'm gonna hit this one. One more, then we'll hit all chat. Uh, two out two art barns. Wow, look at this fucking wrestling mat. That's a fucking wrestling dad in there. He's like, he's training, he's over training his son, who is a bench warmer. Um, huge, huge, huge compound of a house. I mean, an absolute compound, six and a quarter. How many acres? I bet you this thing has stupid acres. Six, no, oh, six. Um, let's use Arkansas. No, no, this isn't worth that. No, nope. that's the neighbor's house right there, right? It's got. Is it two houses? Let me just see what the fucking listing is. This a, is this like a compound? Don't miss this one of a kind. War airstrip. Airstrip. Oh, it's an airstrip. Oh, Air. That's cool. Airstrip. You, you can buy. You can buy. You can buy an airport. Wow. Oh yeah, it's like in the cards. They're like half a million bucks, million bucks, million and a half. You can buy one in Connecticut for a million and a half bucks. Airplane hangar house. Houses are always shitty. Um, direct is a big, but you can. That's kind of cool. Underground aircraft fuel tanks. So currently licensed as an assisted living facility. Um, yeah, it is. It is. So they're 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 trying to fucking tell you everything you could do with this house. As far yes, it's potential. Do you want to run an assisted living facility? Do you want to run around a halfway house next to an airport? You 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 pick your poison. Do you want to run an airport? Yeah, you want to. Yeah, you want to run an airport. You're flying jumbo jets. Into <laughs> You're landing jet blue planes on your fucking airport. You're getting people out. You're driving them in minivans. You're you're running a. You're doing a good job at it. <laughs> you're running a decent, to high level airport. It's decent. They're walking out to the tarmac. They're like right on the ground. They're like, it's no problem. This is seventy people. You it's have. like the seventies. You can smoke in the planes. <laughs> Coming up jet blue planes with cigarettes. You're putting them in fucking Dodge. Uh, Smokes good up high. You get them in nice Dodge caravans and getting them to their hotels free of charge. Comes to the airline. No problem. I guess it's not my airport. You get whatever you Don't want. Don't worry about your bags. We'll get them there. Anybody hungry? You want a bottle of water? It's free. It's all complimentary. Nice bottle. You get your Essentia to Essentia waters. They get you K's. <laughs> you have a steak sandwich with mushrooms on it. They get you George's. <laughs> yeah, they get you George's. You have fries. You have a nice fries and aluminum foil. It's good. Uh, six and a quarter uh, seems like they're selling you the dreams. The, again, they're pricing in some sort of business that doesn't exist. Is what people do with houses with business mm. potential. They price in a business that doesn't exist. Assisted living facility is an absolute gold mine. It's a fucking straight up insurance fucking skull fuck. The slimiest people I ever met. I used to, I used to landscape 16 large uh uh, assisted living facilities in Rhode Island, and the people who ran them were complete fucking blood sucking vampires, so, like psychopaths. Yeah, stealing little old ladies' gold in, in their vaults, people dying. They never know that there's jewelry inside boxes. Yeah, yeah, selling them for a hundred million dollars. Sad. Grinding me for mulch for free mulch. They wouldn't put air conditioners in the windows. Yeah, you're right there. They're they're be yeah, you have like the ladies beating the shit out of little old men. They're, they're having pillow fights with guys who aren't playing. <laughs> it's, it's the nurses having pillow fights with guys that are just getting fucking rocked with some down, down pillow. <laughs> uh, pillow concussions. Yeah, yeah, pillow concussions from nurses. I'll, I'll hit one more and then I'm done. And then we're literally, we're, we're off for the night. Last, last house of the night, 61 Illinois. Then we'll do all chat. Uh, 61 Illinois, Ridgeway, Pennsylvania, 149,000. Not bad. Three acres. What this is a nice is house. Like a this, this is house? a nice house. An A-frame. A little A-frame with an addition. I bet you the house is detached garage, the driveway's a little rough. Uh, I like this house. 
Yes, I don't even need to look at it. It's good. It's worth it. Can't not be. Um, I'd have to see water for it not to be. It's just un, uh, just stupid landscaping. Um, Showcasing water damage in, in the interior. Oh, yeah. You better show it to me. I'm looking for it. I'm look, I, I can see it through the pictures, though. Um, house hasn't been touched in years, but honestly, this isn't a bad thing. Um, you're buying it for a buck and a half. This is this is a good thing. Paint. paint. I paint the whole thing white. Um, the kitchen sucks. Drop the drop ceiling. Pull it out. Needs a kitchen. You knew that. Bedrooms are good. Sp staircases are all shit because the A-frames have weird staircases. They're always going to be skinny. So you're kind of like always creeping around inside an A-frame. Keep that in mind. S narrow hallways. Little archways bumping your head here and there. But kind of a good live. Sunken around. Hot tub for a nice hot sweaty hair fucking uh, 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 fuck session. After you bash your brains out. <laughs> yeah, you, you fucking give yourself a concussion walking to the bedroom to get your boxes. <laughs> You're getting your baby. Immediately pills. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're putting three. You put you put pills in your mouth three times. You'll, yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking, that's so fucking funny. Oh my god, I love that. Just, right in the hot tub, you fucking you belly flop into a hot tub. Immediately cooked. <laughs> you're a stewed meat. Yeah, tender. you look like you look chicken. Yeah, you look like chicken soup chicken. You're white. You just want white. hot pie. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, yeah, like like this. Skin, this is like an illegal twenty-four inch staircase. That's the problem with A-frame. That's oh. they couldn't push it out because it would they would have bumped your head or something. I don't know. Or, no, you want they wanted forty-eight inches here. That's why they need to make this twenty-four inches here. Really funky framing, but it doesn't matter. That's kind of the, the it's quirky. Like you're a fucking camper. Yeah, it, it is. A frames are quirky. You live like a camper. You kind of look, that's the thing about these like small houses with the wheels upstairs. They live a little tight, so keep that in mind. Um, honestly, though, a buck and a half, not bad. Three acres. It, it's a dwelling for ninety three bucks a foot. That's n it's. Uh, there's nothing to hate here, man. Um, I, again, comp is not going to be big, so don't spend a ton of money. But paint. I'm telling you, you paint this thing cool colors. Paint that thing white. You got a hell of a house. And that's it. I'm off. Hmm. Last house line. That's it. All chats. Nice. All right. Oh, we yeah. got uh, nice. Ah. We got Born's Mouth Barnsman with 25. Nikki, 23 year old. Uh, I got the bipolar. I'm on pills. My back hurts from sitting all day at the freight broker desk. Nikki, how am I gonna juice the Social Security office for some cash? I want a Ram TRX with a disable tag and beta sigs. Uh, you want a TRX? Beta, beta Sigs. Um, yeah. Beta Sigs. Beta Sigs. You want Beta Sigs. What are Beta Sigs? I read the word beta wrong. Ah, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to work through it. We talked about this with Fran. When yeah, Fran's yeah. like this, make them work out the words. Make yeah, them sound yeah. them out. That's the thing. You're not making them sound them out. You're not making them do any of the clapping or the syllables. You're not even making them sound out. I swear to God, you fat little fucking piece of shit. I'll cut your fucking fat little titties off you with a fucking switchblade. And then I'll stick a fucking dagger in the back of your muffin top, you fat piece of shit. That's what Chris's mom says to me. Yeah. I'll fucking jab a, a, a flea market dagger in the fucking lower third of oh. your spine, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. You don't want, yeah, you, you don't want to get in the mix with that. Yeah. No, she's, uh, she's fine. But no, uh, hey, TRX. You don't want the TRX. TRX sucks. That, that truck's gonna be worthless fast. That's not. That's not gonna hold up. TRX is gonna fall. Watch. That's a. That's a big motor car that no one gives a fuck about. That's a hot take. No one's gonna take it. But that's it. That's wrapped up. And there's nobody sent anything else. That's. That's it. You got yeah, them all. I got them all. Guys, it's been real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it's been very real. Thank you so much. This has been the best time. Of our lives, a like Vanderpump Rules, so much fun. Sick. Yeah. Um, we are making the TV show tomorrow, so yeah. we, we are streaming. Charles, you you want to uh, when it, Charles streams? If you want to get on Charles, oh yeah, plug it, plug it. Oh on. yeah, I'm on. You know, I got a YouTube there. It's a little Charles Carroll one deal. Hey, I'm on. I'm on there. I'm back in the United States. I was taking a little bit of time off, but I'm back in there. I'm I'm looking to revisit some of the classic tone. I don't know. I've been doing this for a minute, but I'm getting back on there, and I'm gonna get uh, get get mania. You know what I mean? Beast mode again. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Chuck's got the. I, I hear Chuck. Chuck's got some wild plans for the yeah. near future. Things are going wild. It's gonna get really stupid. I'm mm. looking forward to it. I'm seeing a lot of these these fucking crazy dummies. Um, again, uh, I really appreciate you guys showing up and uh, showing love. Honestly, uh, it means everything. If you guys are, uh, we're hey, we're a small business. If you want to. Um, 
thing. We appreciate any of this. If you want some beach gear, it's here. Uh, you don't need to hear it from me anymore. Um, this is my Chamonix House is my is my deal. It's my small business, um, and I, we appreciate it. Uh, what, can I, what can I say? Uh, thank you so much. World peace is coming out. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna be a nuclear. It's gonna be a nuclear bomb in the middle of the, 